Welcome back guys to another battle report from Twisted Dice. Uh, today we've got Ace back in the studio and he's graced us with his Empress hands. Empress hands. Called? First time. First time. You've been practicing. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, new toys. You've got a few new toys but he has yeah. also got a lot of um, heavy, hard hitting, punching, kicking, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think the screaming will be from my part. Uh, maybe, may, maybe I don't know. We, I mean, we, I, we've have tried to make sure that this should be an entertaining game and quite matched up. Um, I've got a lot of rerolls without a doubt. Um, I'm quite elite, and I've got a few of the new toys in there. But I think you've brought the pain as well. I like. I'm hoping so. I like the army. I think it's got a lot of teeth. Um, but but let us know. You know, you're always interested to hear your thoughts. Um, and also, you know, we've been having a big discussion on what kind of games that you like. Please do tell us in the comments whether you're more interested in the competitive style of, of games or actually whether you're more of a fluff bunny and you like a bit more of a narrative driven game. We're just really interested because we, we want to do both and we will do both. But um, just let us know. So chuck in the comments, tell us what you like and we'll, uh, we'll listen to you. We always do. Yes. And if you haven't already, it does help massively, guys, if you could hit the like and subscribe. Um, I know we keep we keep harping on about that, but we really do appreciate and, and it. And if you press the bell button as well, every time we release a video, you'll get a notification, so you can be the first on to catch some of our new battle reports um, and any other content we've put up. Uh, but yeah, all the likes and the subscribes and the comments are absolutely amazing. And we've got some brand new news for you, what we will be launching, and you'll be able to jump on pretty much straight away now, hopefully, fingers hopefully. crossed, is we have launched our Patreon uh, page, which we will be giving um, our our patrons opportunities to get some cool swag to support the channel to support what we do um, and anything that gets donated on there gets pumped straight back into the channel to bring you better and more content um, so just by watching this video you're doing us an amazing amazing favor um, but if you want to support us further there will be a link to our patreon um, page you can jump on there and, and see if you want to kind of support us any further um, but I think probably that's enough of us uh, jabbering. Yeah, let's get straight into battle. Let's get straight into battle. And here's my 2,000 points of Emperor's Hands. Um, I've got some new toys to play with today. So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing some of the new units uh, in play. So I've gone for a battalion detachment. Uh, in that battalion detachment, it is headed up by two HQs. Uh, I have the Librarian in Phobos Armour. Um, he has got the um, Mind Raid Psychic Power um, and he also has the Temporal Corridor. Um, I'm not sure whether they're going to be the best powers but I think they should be a lot of fun um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you a few tricks with them. My second HQ is a Lieutenant in Phobos Armour as well. I absolutely love the model. He's still a really nice, cheap and cheerful HQ. Doesn't take up too many points and is definitely going to be useful on the battlefield. Then moving into troops. Oh, and I should mention that this detachment is an Adominus Crusaders detachment. So I am using one of the specialist detachments from the Vigilus Defiant. So going into troops, um, I have a unit of the brand new infiltra infiltrators. Um, these aren't completely finished guys, so please excuse me, but they're pretty much there. Um, just need to do a little last minute details and bits and pieces but uh, hopefully a really cool unit and give you an opportunity to see uh, what they do. Um, I haven't got the little pseudo uh, apothecary in there and um, I've just gone for five normal dudes led by their sergeant. I then have two units of your yeah, intercessors um, and I have a unit of five and a unit of 10. I've spent a CP for both of these to make them veterans. They are armed with the standard bolt rifles um, and the grenade launchers on the sergeants. Um, and I'm hoping that I should be able to uh, make use of that rapid fire with the bolter drill and they should be really, really useful. Then moving in to the elite slots, we've gone for the super reliable aggressors. I've got six of them, they've all got their Bolt Storm Gauntlets, um, great solid unit, uh, really good at fighting, really good at shooting, bucket loads of dice, tend to be targeted quickly but I still really really rate them. 
Moving in to fast support, I have a unit of four of the jump pack dudes, the uh, interceptors. Um, great unit, um, that again give me a lots of mobility, able to jump in, cause some irritation, lots of shots there, and just just very in a very quite a static army. These guys give me quite a quite a lot of mobility. Um, also in my elites, I have the Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, really like this guy. I think the Gatling Cannon is probably your more optimised loadout, but it's nice to have that punch from the plasma. So uh, we'll see how he gets on today. It's always quite difficult to shift, um, and it's nice to put him against other Dreadnoughts that we'll see in the other list. Um, moving in to heavy support, I have a unit of the brand new... Um, Eliminators. I'm really excited to see how these guys get on today. Uh, they've got lots of tricks, lots of things they can do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how effective they are on the board. Uh, in theory, they sound amazing. Then I have also a Stalker. Uh, the Stalker gives me a little bit of anti-air. I say a little bit, um, uh, but he is useful and when he's got re-rolls he can still be quite effective as a as a backline unit just putting in some good shots and then finishing off the list is the super super reliable absolute gunboat um, that is the repulsor I'm working on another two of these guys that's currently uh, in the background so we'll uh, hopefully get a list with a few more of these guys but for now one I think is really really effective being in the list it soaks up quite a lot of firepower um, and it can dish out quite a lot of firepower um, and there's one one last part so we then have a um, super heavy auxiliary and I am taking Roberto Gilliman again so he is dawned in his Empress hands helmet today he's representing um, and he's obviously given me the buffs I need to really take this army up a notch and hopefully be able to deliver the pain that I'm going to need to deliver against quite a formidable foe. So wish us luck and let's have a look at the forces of the And taking on the Empress Finest, the Empress Hands, we have an Alliance of Chaos. So it's predominantly a Thousand Sons army but it is also backed up by a demon contingency as well. So let's start off with a Thousand Sons. This is a battalion detachment. It has Araman in it, of course. He is awesome. He's on foot today. Um, that's the way that most competitive players are currently taking him. Um, being able to go into ruins um, is, is a big bonus. So the disc sometimes can hinder him a little bit, even though he does make up with it with a bit of speed. Uh, Darren is now taking his famous prince, or I like to say Gimpy Prince, but uh, he has done some work for him in the past. He is a Thousand Suns Demon Prince. Uh, he's got wings, malefic talons. Um, we guess that he will probably take the helm of the third eye, but we'll let Darren kind of decide that and we'll come back and talk about that in deployment. He then has two nice juicy units of rubrics, two 10 man units. Um, and we've got a Reaper uh, chain gun in this one over here. Uh, we've then got a unit of cultists. Cultists no longer the favour of chaos. We've seen quite a, a nerf recently, but still one of your cheapest choices. So Darren's got a nice juicy little 10 man unit in there to back up his rubrics. Uh, and then he has the two heavy hitters, the two Leviathan Dreadnoughts. These guys are absolutely awesome. We've got the um, uh, Butcher Cannons on both with the Claws on both as well. Uh, and obviously those nasty, nasty Flamers. Uh, these guys really can pack a punch. They're resilient as hell. Uh, and they're going to be an absolute pain for me to have to try and deal with. Um, they are an absolute wrecking ball of pain. And moving into Darren's second battalion, this is an unaligned Chaos Demon detachment. It is headed up by Demon Prince. Uh, he is Demon Prince of Corn. He has wings and he has the dreaded Soul Reaver axe. Uh, absolute beast, able to take on knights in a single turn of combat. He is going to be one to watch in this battle report. He always does 
well and takes skulls. So, uh, moving on in his second attachment, he has a Herald of Zinch, uh, Flux Master, um, and just a handy little guy there. He can buff his horrors uh, to useful unit. In Troops Choice, got a big unit of 30 horrors, pink horrors. Um, quite a lot of shooting there, quite good at dealing with light infantry, uh, do struggle with anything heavier, but can be a very useful unit. Then have a unit of 10 blue horrors, and a unit of 15 brimstone horrors. So a nice chunky bit of CP there, potentially ways to farm it as well if Darren goes for the the, for the helm, um, but this should be an interesting game. Uh, Darren has the advantage of a lot more models. He's got some real kiddy stuff, some very very tough armor in the shape of those Leviathan, and lots of psychic powers to throw out. Will I be able to repel them? Let's see as we go into deployment. Okay, so we are playing the Eternal War mission from Chapter Approved. 2018 which is supplies from above which is quite a fun mission where the objectives do move at the beginning of the battle round so the four objectives when we have they are you using the twisted dice um, as the markers we have one here and we have one over here then we have coming over here we have one here and then the last one is over by the big building over here so they're quite well spread out um, I chose deployment Darren got first chance to deploy his troops and choice to go first or second um, I deploy fairly defensively um, even my units that can scout up are kind of hiding uh, I don't want to give him easy shots his rubric marines even though they're only range 24 they're not going to move so they're going to have bolter drill it's lots of shots don't want to just give him uh, troops and I don't have very many so my other unit are back here uh, or the infiltrators and everything else is kind of as expected not a million miles away from Papa Smurf himself um, we've got the uh, in, what they're called interceptors and I get it right interceptors um, and my lieutenant in Phobos armor in reserve my librarian is hiding down here behind that uh, big rock um, as far as Darren he's pretty much gone along the line he's got his two leviathans pretty much center stage a uh, big block of rubrics there the other block of rubrics are there um, we've got the big demons in the middle he's got horrors that he spent cps to keep in reserve and he is taking on his demon prince of zinch dark matter crystal uh, so he's gone for that for his relic and has paid for the soul reaver axe in the demon detachment um, and also araman who's hiding behind that prince there is his warlord he actually is on a disc um, Darren decided to go that option, so uh, sorry for the confusion on the army lists. But that's pretty much it. Uh, wish us luck, guys. We're going to go in and we're going to that all important uh, seize roll, potentially. Right, Ace, can you do it? I'm going to try and seize. I kind of am denied about it. I don't think there's a lot of pain coming my way first turn, um, but I think I can put some early shots in if I get first turn. So we're just going to see if the, let the dice decide, uh, and we'll see if we can seize. Oh, I Very much I, the opposite yeah, from the seize. I honestly um, thought that was going to be a, a, a cheeky, cheeky little, uh, little six. Um, so what I will do before we go into that first turn is I will do prepared positions. Uh, so I'm going to spend two CPs. I'm going to see whether I get one of them back. I do. Um, so I only spend the one CP. Okay, Darren. So end of movement. Um, lots of umming and ahhing. What have you done? So, so far the brimstones, the blue st uh, the blue horrors have yep. all advanced up, so I've done really well on the advanced rolls on those. Mm -hmm. uh, these have just, the, have just advanced up because there's nothing really for them to shoot and in range. So they've got a target in sight. Um, Demon Princes have flown up as well as the Leviathan to pull themselves up because they should be able to get a uh, bead upon a couple of units there if mm -hmm. I desire. Um, I think that is all, so the Cultists over here have pulled themselves over to here. Yeah. To take that objective. Um, what we've done with the 
the uh, what's it? So you use the dark matter crystal to move the thousand suns up onto that bit there. So at the moment, it's giving them a, uh, a two up save. Okay, so we're going to kick off with this psychic phase. My librarian is well out of position and well out of deny range. I have got the relic, which gives me the ability uh, to cause um, some perils, but I'm well out of range and we're out of distance at the moment. So, first power. Presence onto this one here, so the plus one to hit. Okay. Doesn't go off. Doesn't go off, okay. Um. And next up. So next up, we're going to cast off um, plus one feel no pain. Uh, sorry, plus one invan. Yeah. And we're going to do that onto. Hmm, so let's cast that onto the Leviathan there. Okay. No worries. Goes off. Yeah. Uh, so next up, we're going to cast off uh, warp time. Yep. Uh, onto the Demon Prince. Yep. Uh, so that goes off. Okay, nice. Big, big. So uh, we'll move him again. We'll come back. Yep. Okay, so a slight adjustment. Um, we did have a, a little meltdown between me and Darren, and we forgot. But of course, can't do walk time on the Demon Prince because he's from the Chaos uh, Demon book and not a Heretic Astartes. So that's fine. Um, plan B came into action. And that was the Leviathan, he's used it on. The Leviathan's moved up here. So he's just about eight inches away from the uh, aggressors. So potentially he can make a charge in there, uh, but he's definitely gonna particularly soak up quite a lot of firepower. These guys are very, very resilient. Um, and we'll let Darren decide what he wants to do next. Okay, so the other rubrics um, were out, are out of range, but this unit here, are within range to do a smite, so they're going to target in the infiltrators. They do get it off on a six. Um, so these guys, uh, they just do one, don't they? Those guys, yeah, just the one, just one. Okay, so that's one wound gone. We'll put a proper marker later, but we'll just stick one down by this guy here. Okay, and next up, so we have let's go with um, John's favorite, Gimpy Prince, my favorite. Um, so this will be into the uh, uh, repulsor tank. Uh, does fail. Um, I'm gonna command dice one of those. Okay. Go for it. For another one. One again. Not not the best so far. <laughs> start start using the green dice, Darren. Araman. Yeah. Uh, so that goes off on an eight. Okay. Cool. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm out of range. Uh, so it does the one, one mortal wound off the <laughs> repulsor tank. Uh, so we're going in one big. down again, we're going big, yeah. We're going in big. Um, That's probably it, I think. Blue horrors? Uh, yes, the blue horrors can as well. One dice, isn't it? Uh, they get another one, was that, Darren? That is indeed. Okay, nice. Oh, that's a six. Six, right? Yes. Oh, I thought you said you got a one. Oh, fine. Oh, cool. no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I thought you said I've got another one. No, no, okay, cool. So, uh, just the one is that, or are they just do D3? The just, just, just the one. So, that, that's two wounds off the repulsor tank. Cool. Okay. Um, do you want to kill a brimstone? You can do one for a brimstone if you want. No. Cool. Okay, cool. No worries. Oh, in fact, I'm trying to think how many smites did you do before you did that blue? Um, you did. One. It doesn't go off because it would be plus. Yes, one it, each wouldn't, one. So it wouldn't go off. That's fine. So, it, so that was unsuccessful from the blues, even though he did roll a six. So unlucky, but nice try. Um, so that's the end of psychic, right? That's the end of psychic. Okay, so some little, little uh, patters there. Um, very little damage, but the Leviathan's in my grill, and we'll go into the shooting phase. Right. So starting off with some shooting, we have. The Rubric Marines are shooting in to the Phobos. Um, I can't keep forgetting what they're called. What are they called? Infiltrators. Right, okay, so, and he has done Veterans of the Long War as well. So the green ones are the, um, the Reaper. The Reaper, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sure. So one missed, and two, two missed. missed. Yep, yeah, still pretty good. Pretty good. So would normally need fours um, and threes with the Reaper, right? But now needing uh, threes. So looking very good. Very, very good. Okay, so that is six. That's seven saves, I believe, there? Seven saves. Um, oh, eight saves. Eight saves. So the, re so the green ones are minus three. 
And the other one's a minus two. Okay, so um, so I've uh, I'm all got a one up save because of prepared positions. Um, so we've got uh, four. Up. So we've got four. So three at minus. Uh, so five ups. So three on five ups. Okay, let's do that one first of all. So three on five ups. Um, we make two, so we drop one guy from that because one guy has already lost a wound. So we ping him off, and then we have five at um, four ups, right? And that's it. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, not so good. So that will be another two die. Two guys go. Um, yeah, another two guys don't go exactly. So leave me with two guys left in that unit. Okay, okay nice work. so next up we have the Leviathan Dreadnought that moved forward. Um, he did, he has moved, he didn't successfully get prescience off, but he's a Leviathan so he normally hits on twos. So he's only hitting on threes, which is great. Within six, so re roll on the ones. Re roll on ones, yeah, sure. Um, nice, so one miss. So it's a good, good start. Um, and they are toughness five, so he needs threes now, which he gets a whole lot of threes. I think he's a minus one, right? That's correct. So okay, so I get saves. so I get a three up save because they normally get a um, a three up save. Oh, okay, yep. So they're now um, so they're back to a three up because they're prepared positions. So six of them, yeah. That's it. And these are two damage each, I do believe, right? Let's uh, roll these uh, because. I dropped two saves so far. Are they two damage each, right? Two damage each, yep. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna re-roll one of them. I'm gonna use a CP. And I do make that save, so I lose one aggressor. Let me see if I get that back. Oh no, I've already got one this turn, so um, I can't get any more back. Uh, but one aggressor does bite the dust. Okay, so I'll just take the one off. Um, and next up for some shooting. I think we're just going to re re rinse and repeat from the other yeah. guy. Sure. Um, is he outside of six? He looks outside of six or is he still inside? That looks like quite a long six. No, that one's out of the six. Out of six. Okay, no worries. So he's still hitting on threes, but he won't be re rolling ones. Okay, wish him luck, guys. Still pretty good. Pretty good rolling. If he was re rolling the ones, that'd be amazing. One more yeah. there, Darren, as well. Missing one under there. Oh. Hidden away. It. Hidden away. <coughs> um, so same do again. We're looking for freeze, and he does well. Does well again. So five. That's it. Okay, not bad. So again, we are looking five ones for and twos, please. threes. Uh, we drop one, so that's another aggressor down. So two aggressors. So not bad work there from the Leviathans. Um. Any more shooting, or are we there? I think that is all the shooting at the moment. Uh, oh, Walt Bolter from the Demon Prince. You gave him a Walt Bolter, did you? Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't. We'll just double check. <laughs> and with that, that concludes the shooting for the Thousand Suns. So we'll now move on to the assault phase. Um, Baron has killed one of the aggressors. But I think there's still a charge there. So we'll measure that up and Darren can make a decision where he wants to do it. Okay, so uh, we just worked out some measurements. So the Leviathan needs a 9 inch to get into the aggressors. Um, if he gets a double 6, he can actually wrap around into the um, eliminators. So I'm going to do some overwatch. So these guys, uh, we'll get some okay. Dust so we'll start off with the grenade launcher uh, for six shots. Good start. Good start. Um, but need sixes. Two. Get two. I think I'm now well out of range of Gilliman, so I can't re-roll those. So it's just the two. Um, and then I have the. Uh, Bolt, bolt Storm Gauntlets, so I'm needing sixes again, see whether we can get some. Okay, looks like just another two. Um, I now need sixes again, because these are only strength four, he's toughness eight. I don't get any. So that's that. So I wish him luck guys, all he needs is a nine inch, he should be able to clear out the aggressors. 
He gets nope. a massive three, not worth the re-roll, nothing nope. you can do. So it was, worth a shot. it was definitely worth a shot because if you got on there you'd definitely kill those aggressors. But yet again another game goes and I only have half my aggressors left. It's painful. Right, okay, and I think with that that's probably in your turn. Yes, any morales I suppose. Uh, I have got some morales, yeah, so let's do some morales. Um, so uh, this unit here is leadership eight. Um, I've lost three. Um, so let's see what we roll dice. Six. One dies. One dies. Um, because I'm a starties, I get to re-roll it. So we get five, so I'm alright. Um, then we go over to the aggressors. They've lost three as well, so the same deal. So they're okay. Um, and in fact, I've still got I only lost one aggressor, so I wouldn't need to have taken that. Um, and I think that's it, actually, isn't it? That's all I've lost. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so not too bad for the Space Marines. They hold firm and stow it. Um, we'll now go into a Space Marine turn one. So moving into the um, Iron Hands. Iron Hands. Emperor's Iron, Hands. Emperor's Hands. <laughs> close, close. Um, I was only teaching you there. Yeah, I know, just <laughs> testing me. Um, so I'm not going to do any... So, so movement-wise, everything's basically moved, moved up. Um, I've made sure that I'm uh, I'm going to try and put some pressure on that Dreadnought. Uh, I've got lots of auras from Gilliman in there. Um, I've also screened him a little bit. I know that the Prince is going to come in hot. Uh, I just want to make it as awkward for him as possible. Um, I, he is so scary, he will do a number on Gilliman if I don't get lucky with my Invon saves. Uh, so I'm kind of bit screening a little bit. Um, I've got lots of options to try and do some damage there. I've brought the Eliminators up onto the onto the crates so I can look down at Araman and try and put some shots into him um, with the sniper rifles potentially. Um, I think these guys have stayed still. I've got two of them that have moved down from their ruins to make sure that we're in the aura of Gilliman. Um, over here, we've uh, moved in advance with these guys onto the objective, and the other guys have moved out here to put some shots in. Librarian's moved from um, beside the rock, but he's out of range of all his psychic powers, really, anything he can do. I could double move something, uh, but I don't see the point on it right now. So with that, let's move on to the shooting phase. Um, I'm going to start off with the Redemptor Dreadnought. He is going to shoot the plasma into the um, uh, into the Leviathan, and the rest of his shooting is going to go through into the Brimstone Horrors. So let's start off with the plasma. Um, I am going to overcharge it. So we'll see what we can do. So I have D6 shots for four shots. We'll take that. Okay. So I have moved. Uh, it is a heavy weapon, and I do not um, ignore the penalty for moving. So I'll be hitting on fours, uh, but I can re-roll the ones and twos because I get them. Okay. So, um, I do the three becomes a two which misses. Um, I can re-roll the two for another six. So three sixes, tasty. Um, I'm now, this is strength nine I think, let's try it. Yep, so strength nine, so I need threes. Um, and I can re-roll these wounds because I get them. Ugh. I knew if you'd done that on your hits. I know, but I still get only the one through. Uh, so this is minus four. Um, so four up in bun. So yep, yeah, because he gets his plus one because he's got the thingy in. So he oh. fails. It does two damage. So it takes two, takes his first two. Okay, um, and then we'll do his Gatling cannon into the um, brimstones. Um, so this is, let's have a quick double check, it, the Onslaught Gatling Cannon is still a heavy, so the twos um, are, are natural misses, so I can reroll these, and I miss one, so not too bad. Uh, Brimstone Horrors, toughness two. Something like that. 
Uh, so this, I will need twos. So you have five six up saves. Five six ups, no worries. Easy, right? Something like that. Nope, that's uh, five dead. Okay, no problem. I then have the uh, Icarus rocket pod, which is D3 shots for three. Um, this will be five to hit. Um, and the threes, see if it's heavy. It is heavy, they would miss anyway. Can't re roll those because it's good amen. Okay, so that's the end of him. Um, we'll go into the uh, Eliminator Sniper guys. So we're going to shoot the standard rounds and we're going to shoot them into Araman. Um, so I'm just going to quickly double okay. check. So I'm going to use the Hyperfrag rounds. So they're D3 shots. Um, so. Okay, so pretty good. Um, and they are heavy still, uh, so I have moved. So these are fours, and I don't have any rerolls. Okay, so not too bad. These are strength four against toughness four, so only fours. Uh, so that's just two saves, two of your standard saves. So be three ups, make them both. No problem. Okay, so we'll next up, we'll go into the um, Stalker. Mm -hmm. uh, so Stalker's going to go into the Leviathan. Um, I need, let's get some dice. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't fly, so I need fours, but I do re roll because I get them in. So let's see how we get on. Um, so I can reroll these because they're natural misses. And convert. Convert nicely. And strength seven against your toughest eight, so I do five. need fives. And then I can reroll those. Uh, for three, um, I believe these are minus two, so they'll put you into your invon. Uh, one goes through. Uh, two damage. Uh, what's he taken? Four now? Four so far. Okay, no problem. Right, so uh, I think Gilliman is going to do his uh, Hand of Dominion and I'm going to shoot it into the Brimstones. Mm -hmm. um, so let me just check it again. I always like to check these things. I think it's three shots. Um, so let's quickly get Gilliman out and rapid fire. Okay, so it's rapid fire three. He's outside of um, fire range. So hitting on twos, all hit, and uh, wounding on twos, um, re-rolling because of his own. Yeah, that's three. It's kind of like, I can't really miss. You can't really I'm miss. I'm going to roll it anyway. Not against brimstones. Uh, so sixes. Nope. It's another three die. So five, six, seven, eight down so far. Okay, cool. Next up. Let's have a think. Okay, so next up. We're going to use some stratagems. So we are going to use a special stratagem from the Vigilus Defiant for my Crusader veterans. Um, and they are going to do the stratagem which is called Rapid Fire. And basically it makes their bolt ri rifles from Rapid Fire 1 to Rapid Fire 2. Uh, two of the guys have moved, so they will lose it. The rest of them have stayed still. They were within 30 inches of the Thousand Suns over here. So that gives me a hell of a lot of shots. Now bearing in mind that these guys have got like a one plus save. Um, yeah, so I'm still not sure if I'm really gonna shift very many of them, uh, but at least I have minus one on these. So, whoop, dropping the dice, so let's see how we get on. Uh, and I am within Gilliman's aura. So, needing threes. Re-rolling all the misses. And we're hoping that we can just make Darren roll ones, if we possibly can. Um, I dropped one on the floor, so I'll re-roll that. And then, well, not re-roll it, but roll it. Okay, um, and then I'll re-roll these. Okay, so that's more or less all hits. Um, so now... See, with Gilliman, you, it's, it's very hard to miss your target, right? Well... 
he is the uh, lord and saviour of the Imperium, Darren. What do you expect? Anything else? For oh. the Smurfs. <laughs> For the Imperium, right? Anyway, okay, so, uh, needing fours now. And then I get to re-roll all the misses. And this is where it's really filthy. So the hits are good, but it's the wounds that really, really stack up and make it pretty powerful. Um, so there so far. And I'll take out these. One under there. That one there. Okay, so you have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Um so you get a stacking buff, so you're actually on a zero save, so it still puts you on a on a two plus. Um so you got a two plus save basically. Actually, I like the um <clears throat> the zero save. Yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? So you auto pass, but it's uh, going to be crazy. But that's but one's not the case. All, yeah, so one's, one's always fail. So uh, okay, so we've got some saves now. Can the Thousand Suns be absolute bosses and shrug off this bolt of fire? Come on, Darren. Let's easy. just do it one by one. Yeah, we could be here all night. Go for it. Two, three. That's pretty good. One, two, three is all I can see, which is better than average. So, uh, good rolling by Darren, uh, with those beautiful, bright, twisted dice dice. This is new lucky dice, you see. I know, looking absolutely awesome. You okay. can't miss these on the battlefield. You definitely can't. Right, okay. so we're going into the next shoot. So, uh, next up, the other veterans are going to shoot their auto ri uh, bolt rifles up into the Thousand Suns as well. See if we can pling some more wounds off them. Uh, so, no re-rolls here, but near threes. Not bad. And then needing fours. Okay, so four more saves again. Just looking for those uh, twos, right? Yeah, save. No problems. Okay, um, I'm just going to check on these dudes quickly. Okay, so yes, they uh, they're rapid fire weapons. The um, infiltrators, so they did advance, so they won't be able to shoot. Um, so we have basically one thing left to shoot. Uh, which is the awesome gunboat itself, the Repulsor. The Repulsive um, Repulsor. The Repulsive Repulsor, yeah. My new hate. Yeah, no one likes this thing. Um, so many shots. Okay, so um, I think what we're going to do is we will put the... Um, all the grenades are going to go into the brimstones. Can it see? Yeah, so I can see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, through, through the there. window. Yep. Yeah, um, and then we'll put the uh, the missiles and the onslaught and the las cannons into the uh, into the dreadnought. Fair play. Okay, so let's start off with all the frag launchers. I'm just going to see if I can clear them out. Um, so I have four of these. How many? Lots. Lots and lots. Um, okay. Uh, threes. Re rolling. Uh, and then twos, they're tough as two, we think. Strength for the gun? Uh, strength four. So if they're tough as two, that's why it's with threes or twos. We should probably check. Uh, probably might be a good idea at this point. Yeah, let's probably check it. So. <clears throat> that was the only weapon, really. It was. Um... Yeah, do you want to just quickly save these? Do you want to save um, eight saves? Because if you fail eight saves, it doesn't matter anyway. So, mistakes made. Um, they are actually toughens three. Wouldn't have made a difference before, but uh, um, so what it means is Darren has eight saves to make. And six up. No, nope, that kills them all. Uh, so that is first blood for me. 
Um, and we'll then pass the camera back to Darren so he can take the remainder of the shooting from this tank. Okay, so the repulsive repulsor. <laughs> repulsive repulsor. Um, okay, so let's start now with the last cannon. So two shots. And we roll both of those. Two hits. And then threes. Both hit. Oh, sorry, both wound. Minus three. Uh, okay, so two four ups. So for the first one. Oh, second one. So one passes and one fails. D6 damage for three. three. Yep, okay. Okay, so uh, next up we have the um, Gatling cannon. So this is the normal onslaught cannon. Uh, so let's see what we do. There's two misses and fives. Re roll in. Uh, so three minus one, so four ups. Uh, three one more. Ups. Three ups, actually. Yes, it would be. Yeah. She's got two up saved, so all yeah. saved. Cool. So you all three, yeah? Yep. Cool, no worries. Okay, so next up, we'll do the heavy on stalk cannon. Same deal. Okay, so two misses. Then, again, looking for fives. Ugh. Okay, so just the five. Uh, again, so looking for three ups. Easy as that. One. One, okay. So he's dropped eight wounds, right? That's it. Okay, so he's still very much live and kicking. I then have one last gun to shoot into him, which is D3 shots from the um, Icarus missiles. Just the one. Hits on fours, so fails. Normal fail though, so I can re-roll it. Hits, um, strength seven, so again, need fives. Rerolling, so get it. Uh, this, I believe, so a quick check, would you roll? Roll a one. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, so the Icarus is damage, just the one, just one. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, only one, so he's taking nine wounds. Um, and I think, I think I'm all out of shooting. So um, I suppose, combat. So let's go into the assault phase. Okay, so pretty simple stuff here. Um, I'm going to assault you with the Dreadnought. You knew that was going to happen. Um, so Overwatch me, my friend. Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Okay, so we've got some Overwatch coming in here from the Leviathan Dreadnought. Can he take out his brethren? Let's do the Flamers first of all. For nine, nine shots. shots. Well, that's a good start. Uh, so, uh, need them fives. You do, yeah. But they're quite juicy because I think they're minus one and they're two damage each. They are indeed. Which is quite painful. So, here we go. Um, there's one over here, so it's two in all. Two in total, yep. Okay. Um, yep. Yep, so I have a three up save normally, so four ups. Uh, I make both of them, so no problem there. Uh, then you have eight shots. That's correct. Eight shots from the um, butcher cannon. Butcher cannon. Here we go. Need sixes. Gets so, the one. Just the one. Um, threes to wound me. Does wound me. Minus one. So four up save needed. Make it again. Like a champ. Like a champ. Let's charge in there. Can't fail it. Charge in there on a six. No problem at all. Okay, main event, ding ding, Dreadnought on Dreadnought. Can the old veteran hold out with his 3-up Invon because he's been buffed um, uh, from uh, this spell? Or will the young upstart take him down? He only has a few wounds left. Um, I am going to be re-rolling hits and wounds. So, here we go, four attacks. Hitting on threes. No minuses for his fists. All here, yeah. that's a good start. Um, and now I'm going to need, so your, your toughness is eight. eight. Um, my normal strength is seven, unfortunately, rather than eight. So threes um, again. Because it's times two, um, so only threes. Which I get well, all, that's of all of them. That's uh, all of them. That's all of them. Uh, so your three up in bonds, each one is D6 damage each. Two get through. Are you going to use a reroll for one of those? 
Um, it's got to be worth it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Go for it. Good luck. There you go. It it's a safe. So only the one gets through, so a maximum of six damage. Can we do it? Three. Is it worth a reroll? How many wounds you got left, Darren? So I put him down to two wounds. I'm gonna reuse reroll. Risk it for a biscuit. Yep. Can I blow him up? No, less. <laughs> oh, painful. Just the two. So he's going to have three wounds left then. Okay. That's cool. So he's going to be massively degraded. So we'll check his profile and, and come, come back. back. Okay, so this is going to be touch and go, guys. The big old powerful Leviathan strikes back. So he is hitting on fours now, but he will get to reroll ones. That's not the best, but he can reroll the one. No. Nope. No, it's not going to kill him. He's not going to kill him. Twos. It does, and there's nothing I can do. It's flat four damage. He takes four damage. Okay, well, I got off lightly there. Um, even if he got two through, that would have hurt me a lot more. But okay, so I shrugged that off. That's pretty much the end of the turn. We very much neutered that Leviathan, which is good. We'll stop him from shooting at me. Um, does mean I potentially have to take more combat, but also we have some very nasty princes not far away as well. It's going to give Darren a lot of options, exciting stuff. So um, we'll go into turn two. Okay, so beginning the second turn, uh, we're now going to roll to see whether these objectives move and see what we score. So at the, at the end of turn one, I'm scoring one point for my first strike. Darren didn't get any uh, kills, um, but now we're going to roll off to see whether we move these. So I've got one here that my guy's standing on top of. So I get a three. Darren gets a five. He does get to move it. I will still be within three inches, um, but he gets to move it away from me this turn. Um, so, and he's also not going to be able to move it within range of his own guys, but he gets to move it free, which is good. Cool, this is it. Okay, so that's the first one moved. Um, second, he is standing on top of it with his cultists. We'll try and move that one. I get a four. Darren gets a two. Um, I'll try and move it away from him. He, he will still be within range of it uh, because he started on top of it. So we'll move that. Um, yep, perfect. Uh, we'll then move probably the all-important one, which is in the middle here. Darren's currently staying on top of it. Got one. He got a one. Uh, I get a four, so I'll move it towards me. He's still going to contest it because he's technically on top of it at the moment. Um, so it doesn't mean that I'm going to get it, but it will stop me from. It will stop him from scoring it. Um, and then we have one last one here, which is quite important for Darren because it means I could move it to cobble Tim. Um, oh God. What do you get? Two. You got two. I got three. Um, so in that case, we'll just move it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So at the end of that, I score one point. Darren will score one point. Um, obviously, it's the beginning of their turn. Um, so yeah, and then no points over here. So interesting. Okay, so we will now go into turn two for the Thousand Suns. Okay, so just to make it really clear, because I'm not sure whether it was that clear. So you score the objectives at the beginning of your turn. You move them at the beginning of the battle round. Um, so all is pretty much the same. Um, but what it does mean is Darren does score one point for his cultists that still are within three inches. Um, he won't score the one over here because I've moved it out of his way. Um, but I currently am not scoring this yet, so I don't get the point yet. So if he clears me off it at the beginning of my turn, I don't get that point. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. So Darren, what have you done in your movement phase? So movement, so the Demon Prince of Corn is just sat down here. Yeah. So um, he's got this massive, great big base, but you know it, it's that's because it looks cool. But the reality is, he would actually be able to get into that little gap there. So he's the other demon the prince has pulled himself over to there. Yep. And then the leviathan has pulled himself, so he's just out of six inches of the um, the horrible dread in close combat. Mm -hmm. um, and then these boys, so five of them have stayed puckered down. Yeah. But the rest have just pulled himself through. So a we can get a psychic in, and on the next turn, provided and penal with that checks if goes. That yep. We could potentially hold on to that. Okay. Um, the cultists, I should really remove those. So Go all I do is just move. Move on to the objective again. So he's staying on the objective to make sure that if I don't budge him from it, he'll yeah. definitely score it. It just makes sense. All I've done is just take one from the back. It doesn't yeah, matter. It's fine. It just it's be fine. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, definitely. Cool. Um, mm. So um, an aggressive aggressive turn. So this is, I think it's going to be very, very important for Darren. If he doesn't clear out a lot, 
he's really in the jaws of death next turn. But he's got the tools to do it. That prince is scary. He's got another Dean Prince close. He's got some shooting from one of the Leviathans. Um, so we'll see how we go. And we've also got the um, Exalted Flamer that he did forget to shoot in the last phase. But, you know, these things happen. Anyway. Life, life so. sucks sometimes. <laughs> right. So, Psychic Phase. What are we going to do? So, we're going to cast off um, the plus one Invan. Yep. Um, which we're going to chuck up onto that Leviathan. Okay. Same deal again. Go for Same it. Same thing again. I think that's probably going to be my best yep. best bet. As you yep. would put it onto the Demon Prince. Let's do it onto the Demon cool. Prince. Cool. No worries. Goes off. Yeah, it does. Rolling hot. Nice. Um, Araman is going to cast off Presience. Yes. Uh, and he is going to cast it off onto... Let's do it onto that Dreadnought. Yeah, onto the one that's on full power. Yeah. Uh, plus six. one, so I think it is. No, I think it might be seven. I think it um, might be seven, but let's just double check. Yeah, we double check it. So for the second turn in a row, just fails to get uh, prescience off. It is a seven. Uh, so then he's going to go for smite. Yep, no worries. Yeah, nose. That's the big one. Can you see? Uh, the tip of the horn. Can see them. Can see what? Tip of the horn. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so it is, it's the closest um, visible. Oh, so, so it'd be the, yeah, sorry, so it'd be the... Um, the Dreadnought. The Dread. Yeah, okay, okay cool. Uh, so D3. For the one. Okay, um, so it's five wounds gone. I'm going to spend a command point. Okay, go for it. I'm probably going to be a bit regret that one. For six. Okay, so next up, uh, so the, the, the Dreadnought just has three wounds left, so he's taking a hammer in. So next up. So we're going to go with Smite first of all. Yeah, Gimpy. Equidistant, so you can choose. So you're going to go in Dreadnought, obviously. Goes off goes on off. an 8. Yep, yeah, no worries. D3, all he needs is 3. He does get the magic 3. Does he explode? Let's see. Uh, 4, he doesn't explode. That is a very successful Psychic phase. Anything else before we conclude Psychics? Uh, let me just check what he's got. No worries. Um, Okay, so then last one from Araman, mm -hmm. doing the minus one to hit onto the Demon Prince. Demon Prince. Yeah. Uh, got it off on a big one. Yeah, nice. Cool. Successful psychic phase. It's been um, good. That's it, right? Uh, no. So some more smites. With smite over here. Yeah. <coughs> uh, goes off on a six. Okay. So um, just one. Off here. Oh, no, that's from here. So can you see me? Yeah, I can see you all. I can see your bolt pistols, mate. Are oh, your big, lovely guns? Unfortunately, no worries. Okay, just the one. Lovely. Um, am I out of range of your fella over there? Uh, what for? For his horrible. Oh, snow. for my thing. Um, we'll just measure out. Uh, so because of the relic, um, don't want to risk perils, so they're not going to cast over here. Um, and that concludes psychic phase. So decent, strong work, dispatching the dreadnought. Um, yeah, nice. So, shooting, next up, what are we going to go with? We're going to go with, first of all, we're going to go with yeah, these boys here. Okay. So we're going to shoot at your your scouts. Okay. So the five at the back didn't move, so they get the uh, bolt roll. Uh, the one at gut front uh, has moved, but he's within 12, so he'll get the bolt roll off that. Can they, um, can they all see me? Because... Unfortunately, John, that tip of your rifle can be seen by every single yeah, dude yeah? not all these dudes here they can't see it okay so it's not every single one then no it's just okay it's very difficult to see but yeah i'll yeah. take the word for it so you, you've got a line that can see right yeah unfortunately can, can these it's just... can those back ones that he obviously can he they, they can't, can't obviously they can't see but what about the ones that i know so he can he see with the sword, he, he can, probably because of his sword. Can, yeah, can the see next it. one up, he can, the Reaper can, yeah. definitely. That line, how about these that guys on the second, there, how about it. the second line? Yeah, just the tip of your... As long as you, as long as you can, that's still, cool. Better still. Let's no, go. no, no, it's cool, it's cool, let's do, let's do it. It's not, let's, let's, let's do it, because you're not going to hit me anyway, and I'm going to make all my saves. <laughs> so it's all good, it's all good. Love it. Right, so, um, go for it. So, so pistol first of all. Yeah. Hits. Okay. It wounds. does wound. Uh, uh, so two. I get a plus two in cover. So normal saves. Um, oh, is it? Uh, so yeah. So yeah. So it'd be it'd be a normal save. So free up. 
Yep, so I make it. It's camo cloaks, so the camo cloaks give me plus two in cover, which is nice. That's really good, really, really good. So five, six, and then the um, lovely, that lovely um, big gun. Everyone needs a big gun like this. Because you said some of them are moved, are they the ones you, you equated that into those dice? Yeah, so that one there has moved, so we're in rapid fire. Yeah, it's 12, 12 inches, so they're not, the back haven't. ones are out, right? Yeah, cool. But those haven't moved, so the bolt will roll. Oh yeah, sure, sure, if they've not moved, no problem. Cool, good stuff. Here we go. Okay, lots of shots coming in, hit on freeze. It's decent, very, very decent. It's good rolling. Um, and now needing fours. So, easy as that. Quakes itself out a little bit, looks average. Still good. Six. Six. Okay. So one is going to put you up at four. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So one's the thingy. Okay, cool. So let's do four up first of all. Um, yeah, let's do four up. No. Um, do I want to use a CP for that one? What else has come along? I've got a bit more shooting. So you got there. two. You got two at minus uh, at four, mate. Oh, there's another one, was there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, in that case, so one's going to die. Use the next one at four up. No, okay, um, and then four, was that four up? That's three it. Up. Okay, so makes all the others. So one guy dies, and then one guy takes a wound. Not too bad. Cool. Okay. So there we are. Not a bad start. Okay, so next up. Uh, next up we're going to go with um, the Leviathan. Yep. So the Flamer should be in still. I'm sure I measured it up to eight inches. Just out now. Is he just out or is he? No, he's... Yeah, just out. Yeah, not touching my base. So you just move me back. Oh, no, you think you're I keep, right. I keep moving. You keep moving, moving me back. back. You do keep moving me back, yeah. <laughs> I think you're just out, mate. I think you're just out. Even with the pushing back. Even with, yeah, with, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the pushing back, yeah. That's what you need, phones like that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, so next up the Leviathan. And you start off with, well, actually, where are all your guns going? So you've got the flamers up into the dudes so, up the top. Flamers are going to go into those dudes there. Yeah, no and then the butcher's cannons are going to go up into the guys up top. Lovely, love it. Cool. I think that's going to be the, the, the best bit at the moment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, cool. Or do I go onto your flying gun platform? No, we'll go, we'll go into the guys up in the building. Let's do cool. it. No worries. So right. do the flamer first of all. Here we go, the nasty flamer. How many shots? For oh, seven. Not bad. We'll take that on the not chin. Not bad at all. <coughs> okay, threes. it's needed threes. Okay, so six saves. Minus one, right? Um, minus one. Yeah, so six saves. So I have a two up because unlike the last edition, flamers don't ignore cover. Um, so I have two ups, so it's only minus one because uh, I get plus two in cover. So two ups. Don't really want to fail any of these, really. Oh, oh. they gone. <laughs> oh. Well, two of it would have been them gone. So yeah, nothing can do about that. That's a. Uh, that's cool, just poor rolling. Right, cool. Um, so now the butcher cannon coming in hot. What have we got? So I haven't moved, so hitting on twos. Yeah. Reroll on the ones. Uh, Reroll at one. Uh, he's not hitting on twos anymore. Does his ballistic skill oh, not no, change? Oh no, you're, you're right, yes. Hitting on fours, sorry. Hitting on fours. Well, still, not bad, not That's bad. It's not bad at all. One three there, mate, in your hand. There you go. That's it. And this is going into the big tank. Uh, this is going, into, going to my dudes. This okay. going to dudes. No worries. So twos you needed. Yep. So that's five. And this is minus one, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So I have three up save. Uh, five. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Here we go. Threes. Uh, one. Two damage to one dice. Ooh. Okay. So how much damage has that repulsor taken so far? The repulse has taken nothing because you've not put anything into the repulsor yet. <clears throat> Bit repulsive that. Bit repulsive, right? That's it. Um, we're going to do uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Butcher's Cannon from over here. Yeah. He's going to go into the Repulsor. The Demon Princess should deal with him. Should deal with him. Uh, um, 
maybe this is where warp time would have been better on the Dean Prince and got him into combat with a fly. Okay, never mind. Schoolboy error there. Um, okay, so the he's going to have a go at shooting onto. Uh, let's do it onto the repulsor because that puts you up to a four up save post two AM. Three, and that's two flat damage. How many wounds has the repulsor got? Uh, Sixteen. Yeah, let's do it. Go for it. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Probably out of range of the rerolls. Yeah. Um, he has moved. Okay, still not bad. Um, and four is needed. Two. Two. Okay, so uh, four up saves. Ugh, two go through, it's four, four damage. damage. Not bad. Okay. So another successful round for the Thousand Suns. You still don't forget him this time, don't forget him. Yeah, so he's going to shoot into <laughs> yeah. the repulsor as well. Go for it. So this exalted flamer shooting down. Um, he's got two profiles, so I'm guessing his flamer's maybe out of range. We'll double check, we'll come back. Okay, so Exalted Flamer hitting in, he's going to use his kind of blue flame profile, which is three Onto shots. Onto the Repulsor. Onto the Repulsor. For uh, two. So, oh, it's D3 shots, is yes, it? Yes, D3 oh, okay, shots. Cool. So, one hits uh, with one. Araman, re the ones. Uh, he can't do it from Araman. In fact, he can't re-roll it, because Araman only allows Thousand Suns to re-roll yeah, ones. Yeah, very true. So okay, so one sons. hits. Um, does not wound. Does not wound. Threes. Cool. Can't re-roll, because I've already done it. Mm -hmm. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. You got your thousand suns over here. Yep, uh, warp bolter. A uh, warp bolter. Yes, we decided the warp bolter on that demon prince, which we forgot. Uh, I'm guessing Gilly would be the closest. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's three shots. I didn't even know that a warp bolter can be put on a demon demon prince, but fair enough. Um, it's crazy. It lets me do it on the uh, battle scribe. Okay, we'll go with it. If, if it's wrong, put it in the comments. We'd love to hear. Go for it. So two shots. Pause it for a second. Walk. Okay, so Walt Bolter from the Thousand Suns Demon Prince going into Repulsor. So we'll chuck that up. On oh, you're going to go into these guys yep. up top. No worries we'll at all. Uh, so hits, it's, it's strength four. So hits on twos, three roll on ones. Uh, what's it? Three shots? Two shots. Two shots. Uh, so both hits, strength four, so fours. No wounds. Not meant to be. That's no. flat two damage as well on that one. It is flat two damage, but again, Ooh. it's only like minus two. Might not even got through the save. Um, I've got to get Maria. Very uh, so next up, Araman's pistol onto Repulsor. Hits. Uh, like, doesn't wound. And then here, everything shooting it down onto there. Cool. So you're in rapid fire range, all going into the close guys, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm going to do the... Um, the warp, the storm cannon into yeah. the guys at back, and sure. the rest are going to rapid fire. Go for it, no worries. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, and a pistol. Yep, ten and the pistol. Yeah, and then your four and the thing. Cool. Yeah, no worries. Cool, here we go. Uh, well, it's good. Uh, just two misses, wow, impressive. Um, and then looking fours and threes, right? That's correct. Okay, here we go. Still not bad. Not bad. So we got five at minus one, and then you got three at minus three. Okay. Is it minus two? Oh, it's minus two. So these are minus two. Yeah, minus two. You said, and minus, minus, you said minus one. That's what I thought. Oh, right. Cool. No worries. Uh, so five ups on these. Yeah. Uh, so that would be two guys gone, which is just the two guys. Is it yep. worth me trying to use CP? Try and get it on a five to try and hold that objective. It's quite tempting just to risk it because if I take that, you've got nothing else to shoot at them, which means I'll take that objective. I think it's worth it. I'm going to use a CP. And I get a six. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Okay, um, and I'll see if I get that CP back this turn. I don't. And then we've got three. Um, these will be sixes. It's minus three, right? That's correct. And so sixes. So one guy dies. Okay. Not too shabby. Fine. Uh, end of shooting, right? End of shooting, yes. Okay. So, uh, we'll come back in the assault phase. 
Okay, so I've got no way of um, stopping the overwatch because I was thinking about maybe the blue horrors, but because I've got those ones in the window, he can see me. Um, so we're going to go with the Demon Prince is going to charge him to him first. So he has got a free up in van at the moment. Yep. I know that's bucket loads of shots, but it's a okay. risk I've got to take. So, last cannon first of all. So, six is needed. Reroll in hits. Shit. Uh, wounding on threes. Rerolling wounds. Stop rerolling wounds. So make your saves. Free so ups. Free ups. Oh. One gets through. These extend. Um, oh. I'm going to spend a command point on that one. Okay. No! <laughs> oh no! D D6 damage. Oh, damn it. Free. Free, okay. Uh, next up. Should have just took it on the chin. Gatling cannon. And re roll in. So for two. Fives. Re roll in. None. And then the bigger Gatling cannon. No, if I chuck the Leviathan in, he'd have been dead now. And re rolling. Stop yes. re rolling. Uh, so four. And then fives. Re rolling. Uh, so three. Minus one. So again, three up in Von's going to be best. Makes them all. Triple six. Very nice. Um, four of the thingies. So nice. Six. Jesus Christ. Oh! <laughs> Six. Two. And four. Okay. Just one extra. It's a hell of a lot of shots on that gun bite. Uh, fives. Uh, so another three. Uh, three up saves. One goes through. Okay. So prism on four. Okay. Um, now we have the D three from the thingy from the missile, uh, and uh, nothing. That's it. Cool. That's it. You in? Well, minus two. Seven. Put one there for a minute. You're all right. Yeah, you're in. No problem at all. Yeah, because there'd been no rerolls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then the Leviathan is going to have a go at charging in as well. Okay. Um, for six because of the minus two. I think he's alright. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Taking an objective with it. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's fine. That's how we do it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> okay, oh. and then um, the other Demon Prince is going to multi charge into the Leviathan and into Gilly. So into the Repulsor and into Gilly. Uh, sorry. Um, Repulsor and Gilly. Uh, so Overwatch from Gilly. We roll in. Nothing. Um, go for it. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> Should what? have just done it into Gilly. Yep. <laughs> ah, it failed. Because it's minus two because of the um, yeah. repulsor. Yeah, so, it's okay. Failed. It is what it is. Um, okay. That is all the charges. So let's go. I'm heroically intervening. Ouch, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Um, okay, we're gonna do the Demon Prince first of all. Yeah. No, we need on five, sorry. Didn't get diabolical stamp after that. No, you okay. So tools, all hit. Yeah. And then fives. Um, for three. Okay, uh, minus two. Uh, so five up saves. Uh, make one, they're two damage each, so four wounds. So puts them down to eight wounds left. So then we'll go with the big, big old, big old beastie man. Okay, uh, so hit on fours. Nice hit. Nice. And um, wounding on twos of all things. Just the two go through. Eight wounds. Just enough to kill him. Ooh, Just enough to kill does him. Does he explode? Does he explode? Does not explode. It's just the big gunboat out, that's that the main is thing. The big gunboat out. So nice work, just gets him. Um, so now Gilliman. <coughs> Roberto Gilliman is now going to try and kill you. That's what I'm going to do. 
So, he has got six attacks. And he. Minus one. <laughs> yes, he hits on twos, so he now be hitting on threes, he'd be re-rolling the, the ones, not the twos. Uh, so I can re-roll the ones. I missed with that one. Um, I now need threes, re-rolling. Uh, sixes are mortal wounds. Don't get any mortal wounds. Um, we'll re-roll that one for another five. So luckily, you only have to make five inborn saves. Easy as that. No problem. Three ups like a boss. Hey! <laughs> Makes them all. You made them all. Like a beast. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. Um. So it's only really my consolidate of the um, Leviathan. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that in a second and then we'll. we'll come back. Well, that was pretty brutal. Um, so we've got to lick our wounds and dig in deep and see what we can pull out of this bag. Because um, that was painful. Right, so most things have stayed put. Gilliman stayed where he is. I'm quite happy with him just digging in and trying to get a little bit lucky with maybe some sixes um, or get some wounds through next time. I'm hoping he can dispatch that prince. Um, two of the aggressors have moved around. We're in range of the Leviathan. Um, I can shoot at him a little bit, but if needs be, I'll have to just go in and punch him in the face with our power fists. Uh, needs must. These guys have stayed put on the top. Um, they've got some options of what to shoot at as well. Um, so has the uh, Stalker that stayed put. Um, I've moved forward with my limping single guy only um, from that two-man unit. He's sitting on the objective and the Intercessors have moved up as well as the Librarian. Um, then we have dropped in the uh, Interceptors. Um, with the lieutenant, they've dropped in there, they've dropped in nine inches away from the cultists, they'll be able to dish out some pain there, take um, Darren off that objective, which is important, um, to make sure that I'm holding one. And if he stays put, then I'll just charge him with them as well. So we've got some options there. Um, we'll do a little bit of psychic this time, um, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so going into psychic phase. Yeah, I actually get to do something. Going to use some new powers. Um, Ooh. Going to give that a go. So, um, so Mr. Hat Dude. Mr. Hat Dude. Well, he's uh, striking a pose. That's what he's That's doing. It. Um, so I'm going to start off with something simple. So I'm going to start off with a smite. Um, start boring. So he can, he can cast two powers. So we'll start off with a smite. Um, I'll reroll that for a cox. Uh, so get it on a nine. Yeah, I'll let you have that. Yeah. Oh no, actually, Aramon might be in range. So, a quick look. I think he probably is. 24. I should think he's got loads of range. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, he's no problem. He can have a go. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. He can deny two, so. Yeah. Plus one, so I need a. You need nine. You're not going to well, get it like that. I'm not going to get it like that, no. So, okay, one goes through. Okay, so D3. For two, so two um, of you guys, like the best. Okay, it's a good start, it's a good start. Let's take the that one, and we'll take that one. Okay, so next up, I'm going to do Mind Raid. Um, so this is Warp Charge of Six. I'm gonna cast Warp Charge it, of Six? Yes, Warp Charge of Six. So I'm gonna cast it on your Demon Prince that is actually down there. It sounds quite powerful, this. It's not really very powerful, it's just a way of me getting a CP more than anything. Okay. Um, so it's a warp charge of six, first of all. So we try and get that off. Um, and we Goes do, off on a six. We get it off on a six, yeah, exactly. Uh, Araman is going to try to dispel. Yeah, makes sense, give it a go. Uh, gets yes, it off on a yeah, seven. Gets well, plus, one. plus one, yep. Well, there's nothing I can do then. So we what did that do? So it would take one mortal wound off him, but yep. if he's a character and I beat his leadership on 3d6, I get an extra CP. Ooh, okay. So that's alright. It's just a mortal wound, but just a way of getting a little Generating bit extra CP. So yeah, points. I thought it was worth a go. Okay, so that's the end of the psychic phase. Um, and we're going to shooting. Okay. So the main thing is that disgusting repulsors missing uh, he, off the tail. Yeah, so. he's gone, he's gone. So it's going to make the shooting phase a lot quicker, let's say. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, the Stalker. Mm -hmm. The Stalker's going to shoot into the Leviathan. Because um, what I need to do is clear this Leviathan so I can shoot at the Demon Prince. Makes okay. sense. Okay, 
So, um, I haven't moved. I, you're a ground target though, 24s, and um, re-roll him. Okay, and we'll just I, yeah, because threes are the ones I can't re-roll. Okay, not too bad. Um, it's now strength seven, so uh, I need Five. fives for the re-roll. Okay. No, not a single one. Thank God on that. Not <clears> a <throat> great start. I will fire his hunter killer missile. Um, so it hits on a three, it hits, um, and it'll be winning on a four. If it does wound. Uh, so you get free up. No, it goes through. What's the damage on this? D6. Um, I'm going to spend a command point. Makes sense. Makes sense. Saves. Yeah, saves it. Nice. That's the hunter killer missile gone. Um, okay. Fine. Well, that's the first thing gone. Right. Next up, I will shoot with. Oh, I'm going to shoot with these guys. So I'm going to shoot with um, all of the um, uh, aggressors. I'm going to go into the um, in, into the Leviathan and see whether we can ping him off. Because I do need sixes to wound you, so it's quite a lot. So I'm going to get a load of dice and we'll come back. Here we go. Okay, so I've already got my dice ready for the actual gauntlets. A couple of them have moved, the other stay still. But then I also have D6 for each of the grenade pack on each of them. So I get an additional 10, 13. So an additional 13 dice, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, One hell of a firing 12, platform there. 13. Yeah, but as I said, we have got quite a tough cookie to try and get through that. One, he'll have a two up save against everything, and two, I need sixes to wound you. So and even re -rolls, that's the main thing. I do get re-rolls, I get full re-rolls, because I am within six inches of Gilly Man. Oh, are you really? I am, yes, I measured it out. Ah. So, here we go. That's a hell of a lot of shots. Great. Oh, that one. Ugh. Not enough hands. No, don't use pots. Don't use pots, refuse. Right, here we go. Old fashioned, use big hands. Right, here we go. Just all these ones that are clearly cocked. Okay, so um, we're needing threes, so we're going to take out the ones and twos. Um, this looks a good roll anyway. It's a really good roll. Um, so it's now whether we can convert them is going to be the problem. Got another two more in there. Cool, nice one. Oh no, another one in there as well. Sorry. Lovely. <clears throat> right. So that's first of all, and then we're going to re-roll these. Um. So that's two misses in all. Ouch! These dice seem to be on fire. And then, throw so these ones. Okay, so, so far. Oh, they were two sixes. And that one there, that one, and that one. And then we're going to re-roll one of these. And see whether we can convert some more. So, got a fair few here for you to save. Fingers crossed. You can say you can fail a couple for me. You need to fail three. There you go. You've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You owe me three fails. Okay, so eighteen saves to make. Odd save, you should fail. Uh, one wound. Oh. <laughs> the dice have been hot for him. So one wound. So he's got two wounds left. Painful stuff. Okay, so that was a bit of a shock, but these things can happen. Um, so we're going to go over here. Um, and first of all, the uh, 
the sergeant, the last remaining guy from the um, infiltrators, is going to use his once again smoke grenade. So he's going to throw that down instead of shooting, which means he's minus one to be hit. Um, and then his buddies next to him are then going to unload with their bolt rifles and see whether we can chip off another couple of guys. That's the plan. We need to slowly but surely get through these guys. Right. Okay, so need him freeze. Okay, so we drop a few um, and then need him fours. Oh, so just the two, um, two ups. One bites the dust. Okay, um, we'll shoot you with a pistol from the um, lab room. He fails. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think just whether I'm brave enough and I just want to when I unload because mm, I'm not really going to have any more shooting from down here I've just got basically my big unit here that I can either try and overkill I say overkill he's still got two wounds and this is probably less shooting than before but um, I can either try and kill the Leviathan or I can put them into the rubrics and I think I want to take these objectives the objectives are important I've got Gilliman down here I have a feeling I can charge in with the aggressors and I can finish off the Leviathan there hopefully Gilliman will do the job um, so it's risky because his corn prince is knocking around and he's definitely going to be a pain next turn um, but I think that's the right move so we're going to do that um, and we're going to shoot these guys into the remaining um, rubric marines so I'm going to get a lot of dice and we're going to come back Strat I've used a stratagem again and I'm going to um, use it so they can uh, basically use their bolt to drill like, and go rapid fire too so we'll see where I can get that CP back I can't, uh, puts me down to 6 CPs um, and now I'm going to unload here we go, so this is going into the rubric marines I need 3 Okay, and then we're going to reroll. Uh, and see whether we can take these down. It would l be nice to kill these guys off now um, because then it means that I'm starting to take this side of the board and give Darren a few options of what he needs to do next turn. So I reroll these and drop one in all. <laughs> okay, so now we need fours. The only problem is, yet again, Darren is going to be able to do this on two ups afterwards. So here we go. Okay, so, and then we're going to be re-rolling these failed wounds, which should hopefully give us enough here to finish them off. I think there's one or two in there, there's three there. Move them over to one side. Didn't really convert as many as I would like to on the second time round. So you have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Loads. Right. Down down for the cup. Let's see whether he can do it. Wish him luck, ladies and gentlemen. All he needs is two up there. We've got five guys left. Simple, right? Just twos. All you've got to do is avoid the twos. Or avoid the one, sorry. Two. And another one there. Three. Oh, so yet again, he manages to survive. He's probably going to need to spend two CPs to save them, but still, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well... Um, so my last bit of shooting is over here. Um, I'm going to start off with shooting my um, uh, Primaris Lieutenant. Okay, so um, Primaris Lieutenant is going to start the ball rolling. Um, he, I believe, is going to try and take a cheeky shot. Yes, he is. He's going to have a cheeky little shot up at the Thousand Suns remaining guy. Just see whether I can pop him off. 
whether I can or not is a different matter altogether, but we're going to give it a go. So, he is, um, what do we have? He has got a rapid fire one, 24 inches. I don't think I'm going to rapid fire range, it's just going to be the one shot. Um, hitting on freeze. Oh, and I get two. Okay, okay, going to be like that, is it? Um, fine. So next up then the interceptors, uh, we will do, um, I think, I can only get one guy onto him, so I'm going to shoot one guy at the um, Thousand Sun, and then the other, the other three will go at the cultists. So first of all, here we go at that final guy, let's see if we can clear him. Okay, so hitting on three, so we missed two, nothing we can do about those. Um, I'm now, these I believe are strength five. Um, I will double check it in a second, but let's just see how we get on. I'm re-rolling ones to wounds because of the lieutenant. Okay, so it's not gonna make any difference. Well, it might make a difference actually, so you, let me just go and have a double check. Um, we'll see. Okay, so two top saves onto my captain. <sighs> It just needs to die, it just needs to die. Right, okay, it is what it is. Um, so we're now gonna shoot the rest of it at the cultists um, and see whether we can annihilate a few of these. These guys won't get a save. Um, so I should shred through these pretty quick. Okay, right, so hit on threes. Too many twos my liking, too many ones. And then we need threes, um, and we are re-rolling the ones. Okay, and these are all dead cultists, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's the unit. Okay, so that's the end of my shooting. Um, not what I wanted whatsoever. Um, Quite painful, really, but uh, at least we've cleared off most of what's going on this side of the board. Um, that's a, that's a start. Um, I'm now going to do some charges. So I'm going to start over here, and I am going to I'm going to charge these guys into uh, in, into well, I'm going to charge into both. Um, because this guy's already in combat, I might as well. So we'll charge him to, to him though, ultimately, so he will get to overwatch me. So we'll go for the Flamers Festival. Yeah. For mm. seven. Too painful, too painful. Uh, toughness five. They are, yeah. Yeah, so, fours. Four. Four. Minus one. Flat two. Yeah, each one's a dead one. Um, so four ups, painful. I'll only drop That's one. That's not too bad. I'll take that, to be honest. But do you know you do have your butcher cannon? On the butcher cannon. Sixes. Doesn't seem enough shots. <sighs> Rerolling ones. Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. Yep, seven inches, plenty. Perfect. Um, then over here, I'm going to go and try and charge you up there. Cool. So, pistol. Nope. Okay, it's going to be a big charge. That's not going to be enough. Um, and is it worth charging? I'm going to charge my dude at the front as well. Why not? Uh, sorry, watch me again. Yep. Yep. Go for it. No. That'd have been so good if he did. Uh, seven, eight. So go to there for two. Oh, it's a bit difficult. Let's have a quick look. No, no, I think it's just out, I think. Oh, should I re-roll it? Because I only need one more inch to be able to get it. I put you down to 
two command points, I'll make it. No, I've got <clears> six. <throat> so I don't know. Six? Yeah. <laughs> um. Do it. What can you. You can't fail it. Uh, let's, let's can't get no worse than what you've already done, right? Let's. 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 let's do, I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was six. There you go, so he's up. He's up. It does mean potentially I'm sacrificing the objective, but I think we need to try and kill this guy. Yeah, true. I think we need to try and kill him. See if he can be a hero. Okay, um, are there any more charges? I don't think so. So we'll go into the assault phase. Um, so I have to go with charges first of all. Um, so we'll start off with these guys, they're all going to go into the Leviathan. Um, so these guys have, I think they have two attacks each, we'll just double check them. Cool. Okay, so... Is it minus one to hit because of the power fist? That's right. That's right, but then re-roll him. Okay. okay, so four hits from the aggressor so far, and now I'm going to re-roll for another two. So that's six hits in all. It's not too bad. Um, Freeze. Uh, I don't. I think it's fours because I'm only strength four, and these oh, only yeah. times two. So uh, these will be fours, and then I get to re-roll those. Okay, so that's not bad. So that's five at minus three. So you now be four ups. I don't like it when people do this. <laughs> One goes through so far. D3 damage so far. <laughs> One gets through. Ah, oh, two gets through. Um, that should be enough. Yeah. Okay, so two D3. Um, is it worth me? Because I've not done one in my assault phase, did it in the charge phase. Um, what are you looking in your hands? I don't need to do anything, do I? You can't re-roll another one. It's only two wounds he's got left. Oh no, he's got three wounds because you... Um... No, no, he's got two because I already took him one off. Yes, but you... Um... Okay, uh, so yeah, so he does go, so does he explode? He nope. doesn't explode, he's just brown bread. Um, two... At this point I'm going to spend two command points yep. to interrupt. Sure, I'm just going to pile in anyway. Um... <clears throat> It's whether I go straight for the aggressors or whether I go for Gilliman himself. Uh, G Man would be the best thing, but you've got toughness. Tough six, so you win me on freeze. Win you on hitting your twos, win you on freeze. Yep. Yeah. Uh, flat two damage apiece. Yeah, each one that goes through. But the aggressors would be the better one, I suppose, at the moment. That's less firepower you got on the board then, and I can probably just dodge you for the rest of the. Um, Rest of the face. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So okay. seven attacks onto the onto We're gonna we're gonna do it onto G Man because they've already attacked, it doesn't matter on the next thing, so sure. still onto G Man. No worries. So all but one, re roll, yeah. all hit. Okay. Um so that's five. Okay. One gets through. Um, is it worth me? Re no, we'll just let that. It's only two damage, so that's fine. Um, so we'll just put the two down there. Um, okay, so I then have to go over here. So you've taken there's two more CPs off you, mate. I know where you're doing yours, but. Um, okay, so we'll come over here. So let's have a quick double check on this guy because I've never used him in combat before. Um, I'm guessing, oh, he gets three attacks, quite nice, infiltrator um, sergeant. Um, so, see if we can do it. Here we go. And I get two hits. And I'm strength four, so only fours. I get one. Um, one damage. It is only one damage. Is it only in shooting or is it in everything? Let's double check on that. Okay. Okay, so. It is for everything. To two up on a four, goes through. No problem. Uh, tax back, I think I've got. Uh, so it's me first, so I do Gilliman because it's kind of. Yes. So they were all charges. True. So um, we'll do Gilliman. Oh, you forgot about Gilliman. <laughs> How could you forget about Papa Smurf himself? No one wants Papa Smurf. But I've got three up in bud at the moment, so that's my only saving grace at the moment. Yeah, well, you, you lucked out last time, so I'm hoping that maybe I'll get some sixes this time, finish him off. 
I mean, he's, how many wins he got left? He's only got, he's lost like half, he lost four, didn't he? He lost he's, four. He's got four left. Okay. Okay, let's re-roll those. So all hits. Um, and now threes. Yes, that's what we're talking about. And then re-roll these two. Okay, so let's roll two D3s first of all, because nothing you can do about those two. Um, so that's uh, for, f for three wounds. Three wounds, yeah. So three wounds so far. Um, so you've got one wound left, and then you have five saves. Easy, right? No. No, even if I re-roll one of yeah, them. Still enough to get him through. It's flat three damage. He is gone. Back. Okay, so Sorcerer, uh -huh. it's three attacks. I don't think so. I think they only have two. And we left on him because he took one. Here we go. So two attacks. Yep. One hit. Yeah. Threes. Doesn't wound. Um, yeah, we'll leave it as that. Okay, so at the end of that round, uh, morale checks. Just the aggressors, I suppose. No, not lost enough. Would you lose two, didn't you? Yeah. I need to lose three. I lost one from the. Well, no, I only lost one this turn. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Um, so I'm guessing enough, yeah. moving into Thousand Suns next turn. Okay, so um, so in that turn, so I scored I scored another point at the beginning because I managed to hold on the, in there. Yep. Um, and then your previous turn, you scored one. So you so you're currently on one point, um, and I'm currently on two point because of my first strike. Yep. And I've got um, pink, uh, blue horror on at there. At the moment. At the moment. Ah, uh, so, yes, of course, because so the you um... don't score until this. So <laughs> so if you win that roll off, you will score that one. Gotta win it. You've got to win that, and maybe you might be able to move that one within. I don't know how far your it. guys are potentially. Gonna win still it. probably not. You're gonna win it, of course. You're gonna are. win it. But let's start over here anyway. Yep. Um, so I'd like to win this one. I don't win that one, so you're gonna move it away from me. I'm guessing. Yep. So three inches away, which will put you then out. Yeah, yeah. Um, out of that. Do you want to go that way? Uh, further go away. That from... way. No, we want to go that way. That way. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, we know we're outside of it anyway, so that's fine. Then the one over there. Three, you get a one. Um, we'll move it towards my guys, please. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second anyway. We know that. Um, then this one's quite important. Um, get two. I get two. two as well, so it stays put. So you will claim that one um, because you are a troop's one. choice. Yes. Um, and then the final one. I get three. You get two. two so I'll move that away from you. Move it. Move that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's that's that, and then we'll go into movement for thousand suns. Okay. So, movement wise, so the demon prince has actually set, perched himself up onto there um, because of the wobbly model yep. rule. Yeah. Um, we just piped him down there at the moment. We're happy he can sit on there. So yeah. Cool. So just giving him one inch away from combat into those guys. Yeah. Um, then down here, the leviathan has pulled himself over, so he's actually on the objective. Yeah. Um, so that means whatever happens, I should keep that objective under my name, providing mm -hmm. um, no horrible shenanigans goes on. Um, over here, so we've just moved, so the guys have pulled themselves over, so they're now sitting on the objective there. Yes. And the rest, so one's got a bead on over there. Yeah. And that just means that three can't see. Mm -hmm. um, three haven't moved, so they get the uh, mm -hmm. rapid fire up to the 24 yep. inches. Yep. Um, and now, so that's the end of movement, so now bringing in my reserves. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna bring a load of horrors to drop down on here. Okay. I think that'd be the best bet. No worries. We'll come okay, back. Okay, so after. these boys are dropping themselves down here. Um, I am within eight at twelve, so he is going to spend two command points to do the auspex scanner. So I'll see if I get one of the CPs back. I don't. Um, so we'll see whether we can gun down a few of these. Um, it would be nice if we could. Um, we'll see. Right, so I can't reroll hits, I can reroll ones to wound. 
Okay, so needing fours to start off with. That looks not very good. That looks pretty bad. But if we can kill one or two of them, then that's still two shots each one we, we fail. So toughness three. Uh, so I need threes, reroll on ones. Uh, there's one one. Okay, so that is six, seven, eight. Um, and fortunately, horrors have a four up save. So they're fairly resilient. Especially if you roll like that and roll them all. <laughs> well, well, there you go. There you go. Last time you were using my dice. Um, <laughs> well, technically, they're the. Uh... They're, they're my <laughs> dice. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so start it off, um, let's cast Flicker and Frame onto these guys. Uh -huh. uh, goes off. Yeah. Uh, what rain, uh, where is he? Who's casting it? Uh, 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 here. Am I there? Yeah, you are in. Just. Okay. Uh, what did you get? Uh, I got five, six, seven, eight. And you're minus one. So you got it on a seven. So I might try and just get rid of it if I can. Six, seven, eight. So I need three to get rid of it. It might save those guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to go down to three CPs, and I'm going to reroll that. <sighs> Goes off. It does go off, yeah. So cool. Plus one strength. Okay, so Araman is then going to cast off um, plus one Invan onto the Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Five, six, um, I think it's a seven. One of them is so minus one. So minus one is six, and I think this is seven. I think we'll double check it, but. Okay, so that does go off on a six. So he's got the plus one Invan. Uh, so we're now going to do um, Presience. Mm -hmm. from, oh, you haven't got Presence anymore. Presence is gone. Presence is on your Dean Prince. Um, so it'll have to be the um, the other one. Minus one to hit. Yep. Uh, does pass on seven. On seven, yeah. yeah. Um, and then just leave in. What else Doom have I got? Doom Bolt. I'm going to do Smite because it's better. So Smite. Well, goes off on a it's, five. It's the same. It's not quite as good, but it's easier. <laughs> um, yeah, go for it. D three. For one. Just one. Okay. Um, yeah, fine. One wound off a guy. We're going to do pink horrors first onto them. Onto what? Sorry. So the closest one is going to be that guy there. It's so smite. Uh, nine. Yeah, it probably. Well, actually, be. it has to be. It should be even. Well, yeah, because we well, have to be twelve inches away from him minimum. So yeah. So so yeah. Up to those. Goes off. Okay. Um, I try and work wherever it's worth. What did you get that on? You got six. Six. I'm gonna try and get rid of it. <sighs> nope. Um, and have you already cast it? You've already cast a smite. What did you get it on? Yeah, six. six. Yeah, you did get it. Right, cool. That's why I stopped casting smite on this guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to cast nice. smite from him into him. Yep. Goes Passes. off. That kills him. Nothing can do. Nice one. Um, what else have I got left to do? Can't cast smite on these now. Uh, so hit these boys here are going to cast smite. Mm -hmm. Into over there. Yeah. Goes off on a seven. Uh, on a nine, sorry. Like a so one of those are dead. Well, it can also pass on. So oh, you only do one. You only do one maximum, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that is. I think that's your psychic phase. Yeah, I think that is it. Mm -hmm. uh, so going into shooting. Okay, so moving into the shooting phase, after a pretty productive psychic phase, what are you going to start with? So do pistol over there into those. Go for it. Nope, okay. wasn't meant to be. I'm going to hold fire on that at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Araman, pistol into those. Yeah. Hits. Yeah. 
doesn't, doesn't wound. wound. Yeah. Uh, we'll do Leviathan next. So the flamers into these. Yeah. And then the butcher's cannons will have to go into... Into the stalker. Into the stalker. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. No worries. Because uh, he can't see anything else. So, yeah, let's do... Okay, let's do go that. for it. Um, for it. So 2d6 flamers into the aggressors. Or do I do it into your guys up top? The flame, what the um, butcher the, uh, butcher can No, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to target. We'll okay. stick to things. So, Go for it. So flamers. Oh, seven. Nice, nice. Six. Just about the average. Seven. Okay, um, and needing fours. fours. Oh, very good, very good. So that is five. five. Nice, minus one. Four ups. Hurting, should kill us. No. Oh, yeah, 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 it does just kill us. Is it worth, worth a CP? <coughs> Try and keep one just to stop you from targeting. But well, actually, what have you got more to target? It's just Marines. One kill him in. Um, it stops the Leviathan charging me. Do I mind about that? Do I care? No, come at me. And let him go. Cool. Cool. And then the Butcher's Cannon. Yeah. Into the stalker. Uh, what we didn't get the um... stalker, you said. Sorry. Yeah, we did get the presents off. They did we? No, you didn't. You don't have any more. So it's hard for you to get it off. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, For one. Yeah, just oh, um, yeah. Strength eight, isn't it? So yes, yes. Cause it's tough to say the stalker. Uh, minus one. So four ups. Yeah, it makes a save. No problems. Um, that was surprising. Uh, I don't know, I was convinced there was no problem. Laz Cannon, yep. to him. To Gilliman. Yep. Go for it. Wish Hits. Him luck. Hits. Did he move? Didn't move. He didn't move, okay cool. Uh, doesn't wound. Strength 9, toughness 5 though. Toughness 6. Toughness 6. Um, Wouldn't matter if it was 5 anyway, it's not 10. Uh, I am... No, we'll keep it at the moment. Um, so then over here, these boys are then going to shoot into Gilliman. What okay. can actually see? So um, I don't think he can see on the end, can he? Yeah, he can. Oh, he can, can he? Yeah, so, the last gun side can, yeah. Um, are you actually in range of not all of them? Then? Not so, all of them, no. So, so, uh, so just three, two bolters. Yeah. Two bolters. Two bolters. And the psychic thing. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so we'll do the two bolters first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, two hit. Nice. No wounds. No wounds, of course not. Stick to these dice. That one fails. Uh, tough as you say? Tough six, so it's only five, so one. one. Um, Minus three. Okay, so three, three up in bomb. bomb. Yeah, makes it. Yeah, well that might be the case, but... Um, shot, shot, shot. Flicking frame, let's wipe okay. this out and then come Yeah, loads of dice coming up. Okay, so finishing off the shooting phase is the horrors. They are using the flame into the interceptors. So hitting on fours, and um, no one close to make them re-roll the ones. Um, but they did get flicker and flame off, um, so that's going to help the wounding. And they still got tons of shots. One more there, Darren, at the back there. That's it. Nice one. Cool. So that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's a lot of lot of five buses. Cool. Um, and now because of flicker and fame, we need fours, which is nice. Okay. So how many? Count them out for me, mate. So that's um, three, six, seven, eight. Seven. So I should do this. Eight. How many you got? So that's six, six, twelve, twelve, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, I think this is not enough, but I'll rather start off with anyway. Uh, so it's two so far. So hang on. So that's so six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we go. Uh, fail another one. Um, so that's one guy and uh, one's on a wound already. One's, so. one, pardon, one's on a wound already? Yeah. Oh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. <coughs> um, so there's two guys down there. Okay, two guys gone. Nice one. Right, okay. And you're shooting? Uh, two. Okay, so actually one last guy, we've got the guy with a pistol. So he's gonna have a go at shooting at two, uh, onto this squad. Actually, do you know what? He's gonna have a go at shooting over here. Okay. So, hits. Does hit. Does wound. Minus two. Minus, minus two, yeah. Minus two. Yeah, takes a wound. Okay, nice. So, uh, pretty solid. I think, I think that's everything. Darren sure. would have liked to have killed the Inceptors, but still he's taken half the unit down, which is decent. Um, yeah, he's done all right. He's done all right. So, going to the assault phase, what are you going to charge? <clears throat> uh, so the Demon Prince is going to charge into the guys up there. Up sure, top. okay. So we'll be rapid firing you. That's uh, going to pass over to Darren Cam and get some dice. Here we go. So, okay, so uh, we're just going to try and rapid fire the hell out of this big demon. That's the only thing we can do. So, let's give it a go. So, need sixes. <laughs> re rolling all of them. Come on, give me some sixes. For one. For one. That is diabolical rolling. Um, okay, need a five. Need a five. Give me a five. No, that's it. Um, just don't roll like a double two, double one or something. Yeah, you're in by plenty. Cool. So we won't move them just for the sake of we don't want the model to fall and break. Um, but he's obviously here assaulting these guys. That's it. Um, <clears throat> anything else to assault? Believe it or not, the Leviathan uh -huh. isn't going to go down to Gilliman. Okay. Reason being is he's better off you charging him uh -huh. than the other way around. Fair enough. Um, Bonkers as that sounds. Well, it doesn't mean I'm going to interrupt, doesn't it? Potentially, I suppose. There's some, yeah. there's some risk there. Fair enough. A lot of risk. A lot, a lot of risk. Makes sense. Um, so we'll go Demon Prince, I suppose. Go for it. Five attacks. Should be five dead guys. So twos. Re roll the ones. Mm -hmm. And then threes. Strength. Uh, plus two or plus three. It's not. Uh, it doesn't take him up to. Let me just just double check. So yep. Two. Uh, so that is five dead marines. Well, not necessarily. So it's minus. Oh. So it's minus four, right? So I don't get a save, but it is d6 damage each. So you need to roll these in that uh, individually. Yes. Because obviously, because I'm going to be <laughs> abusing them as much as possible if you roll. So that's fine. So that's one dead. Cool. Next up. Yep, just enough at the moment. Roll a one, please. Yeah, go on then. Three. Yeah, that's enough. Three again. Yeah, that's cool. So, <coughs> five for it? In all? That's correct, yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay. So, we'll be a morale check for those guys. Okay, um, and then I'll pile him. Yep. Um, you can weapon pile in there. Yeah, we'll pile in. Why not? Um, yeah, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, need threes. Follow by fives. Uh, just a two. Two free ups. Yeah. Uh, one goes through. I'll take that on the chin. And seven wounds. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so I'll take a morale check. Yep. And so I'm leadership, I'm leadership eight. I think Gilliman buffs my leadership if I'm within a certain distance. Let me just double check his little roll. And one's I'm rerolling. Here we go. So morale. 
So yeah, so because I'm ultramarines, I get plus plus one. Um, I'm also in roll. I'm in range of Gilliman, so I can um, re-roll ones for morale as well. Um, so I don't want a four plus really. That's my thing. I don't want that. I can re-roll because I'm a um, Astartes. Full stop. Four. I do lose one. Nothing I can do about that. It is one of those things. Okay, so. Um... Demon Prince is obviously just going to still stay into combat there. Um, moving now over to the Ultramarines next turn. Okay, here we go. So, okay, um, short and sweet, not a lot I can do to be fair. Um, we've just got to try and see whether we can do a bit of work to this. Um, it's a big beastie. We've got to try and try and deliver some pain there. Um, desperately need to kill this one guy off who's sitting in this coverage. It's been the bane of my life. Um, and then we need to start doing some damage to these uh, these horrors. Um, we need to try and take them with that objective. Try and do some work over there. Um, and then Papa G himself. He's just got to terrorise this Leviathan. Um, the Leviathan does her free up Invon in combat because of the psychic power, which is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, but if I roll hot enough, it's not going to matter. So uh, that's what we've got to do. So we're going to go into psychic phase. Um, I'm going to start off over here with a librarian. The librarian is first of all just going to see whether I can just smite that guy off. To start off with. So please just make this work for me. Um, I get it off on a seven. Araman's going to try to deny. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, he denies. Does he? Four and a five. He's to deny it. There's nothing I can do about that. Denies on a ten. Oh, it's going to make it hard work for me. Um, and then I'm going to try and do mine raid again on the uh, Demon Prince. So I need a six. I don't get it. Oh. Not going well, guys. Not going well. Okay, that's end of psychic phase. Uh, so we'll move in to the shooting phase, um, and I'm going to start off with a, um, a pistol from this guy up to him. It hits. It does wound on a four. Two. Saved. Yeah, no problem. Um, three guys here that can see him are going to shoot into him. Two. Give me a one. Yay! Um, Give me a one. <clears throat> gonna command dice that one. How many command dice you got left? Just one. Just one. Fail it. Double one. Saved. Oh, painful. Painful. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. Right. Okay. So next up, Stalker shooting into the big beastie up there. Um, I need him to do some work. No re-rolls anymore, uh, but I am hitting on twos because he does fly, which is nice. So, here we go. So, hit on twos. Ugh, and a one, of course. Um, and then wounding on threes. Ugh. Nope, does go through. Two damage, so it's three wounds gone from him now. Okay, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, okay, then we'll go over to here. Um, I'm going to start off with the lieutenant is going to shoot into this guy. Um, so, rapid fire. One hit. One wound. save yeah Ugh, grim 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 okay so uh, the interceptors are now going to shoot into the pink horrors see whether we can do some work into these guys uh, dice have gone cold right and uh, then I need three to wound I can reroll ones not when I wanted a load of tubes. Okay, so five saves. 
easy as that. Four ups, simple, simple. One. Ugh, one horror dies. Not what I can do about that. Um, the Hand of Dominion from Gilliman is going to shoot into the Leviathan. Three shots, rapid fire. Rerolling. And fives. Rerolling. Minus on this. Pardon? Minus on it. Minus two. No, it goes through. I think this is two damage. Oh, so it's minus one. What did you roll? You rolled a one, didn't you? Or a yeah, I rolled a one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Cool, I'm going to caught that, but yeah, still, so two damage. Um, so it's his first two wounds, though, right? That's correct. Uh, <clears throat> okay, um, and that's the end of a pretty short shooting phase because I can't shoot these guys. Um, so we're going to go into the assault phase. Um, and Gilliman is going to run headlong into the fire and I'm going to go straight into the Leviathan. Cool, so flame of shots first of all. Yeah. For six. Six, okay. Um, I'm debating whether. To use your last CP. I might need for to the leave two. It on there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. No, we'll hold it at the moment. So, so six shots. Okay, so yeah. uh, fives. For one. So for one. That's three, terrible. Three up. Yeah, it makes it. Makes it. And then the butchers. Mm -hmm. And one more. Okay, here we go. There's the one. There's the wound. Okay. And there's a save. Oh, you bugger. Three up save is quite hard to burn. They said double one would be nice right now. No, you've been there. Anything else want to charge? His head's falling off, that's how stressed he is right now with uh, <laughs> the dice rolling. They've just, it's got to kill him and he just can't deal with it anymore. No, that's it. It's too much, right, okay. Um, so I'll then charge these guys into the horrors. Cool. I'll take so a load of overwatch. Um, okay, so I'll do this first of all, so these guys are going to charge. Pistol. Nope. nope. I don't really need to roll, but I will. Yeah, plenty. I'm just going to stay in coherency on to make sure that I'm still standing on top of that objective. But we'll put these three guys like that. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll hand... I'll take... Okay, so loads of shots coming in, hot, needing sixes. I can see a few. It wasn't not... that hot, really, was it? No, but still, <coughs> still. Um, Flicker and Flame is still in effect, so... Um, fours is what you needed, fours is what you got. Okay. Uh, so one, um, so I'd already lost one, one uh, so I hadn't lost one before, so, so just one wound gone from one of my guys. Cool, okay, we can deal with that. Um, let's see what we get. Uh, six inches, okay. Yep, yeah, so you're in. Um, we'll go the lieutenant in as well. Um, it's got four. a four. Is that in? Or do I need to use a reroll? You have to use a reroll, unfortunately, you need a five. Okay, reroll coming in for five. Yeah, um, and I'll see if I get that, that back. I do get it back, so I don't spend the CP. Okay, <clears throat> perfect. Right, well, funny enough, we're going to start with Gilliman. Seems like the right thing to do. Okay, so come on, this is your time, Gilliman. No messing around now. Can't be dealing with any of that. So, here we go. It's easy, need twos. Okay, so we get all the hits. Oh, and now uh, we need threes. Strength for the weapon. Um, so strength is plus two. So no, so we need we need fours, in fact. If I, yeah, because I need to use a saw because I need to get threes in Von. So need fours, but re-roll them. Ugh. Come on, give me some sixes. I'm gonna get rid of them dice. I'm gonna do a Darren, and I'm gonna get four more dices. Here we go. Come on. No. So one is all I get. So one d three for one. Ugh. 
and then you have six saves to make. Six three ups. Easy, right? One goes free. Okay, so that's flat free damage. If I can find the there you go. Okay. So that's all he's taken is six wounds. Yep. That's grim. It's real grim. Okay, um so Let's do the rest of my attacks, unless you want to interrupt. It's no. not going to make any difference, is it? Unless you think your horrors are going to sweep me aside. Right, okay, so let's start up here. Um, and let's see whether we can eventually kill this damn sorcerer. Right, here we go. Okay, so that's two misses. And then needing fours. Uh, so that's three saves. Oh, you wanna bring it! Right, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> not good. Um, okay, so now my um, interceptors. So let me just check their stats. Their stats. Okay, so obviously when these guys go in and charge, they do mortal wounds on sixes. So there's two of them. So if I get a six, I get doing what wound? No. Okay, and here their attacks. Hit on threes. Okay, and winning on threes. Uh, Reroll ones for the lieutenant. Uh, they're all wins. Uh, so four up invons. Fail them all. Wow, it's four guys die. Okay, um, and then the brave lieutenant. <coughs> um, let's do him. So he gets four attacks. Um, and he has a nice little rule. So he he's a knife fighter. So each unmodified hit roll of six made by his attacks, the model in close combat uh, scores two attacks instead of one. Okay, so uh, he hits on twos. I do get one six, so that's two two hits rather than one. Um, and. So I now need threes, re-rolling ones, uh, just twos unfortunately, so uh, just three more saves. Three more by the dust. Okay, this is not bad work by this little by these little guys, quite happy with that. Okay, so now comes the pain train. I think Darren could see the game off if his Leviathan strikes home well. Is he is he on a drop profile yet? I don't think he is. I think, I, I think that's probably wishful thinking. Haven't they have quite a lot of wounds? Haven't they have 16 wounds? Uh, 14, I think. We'll just double check uh, on that. Yeah, okay, no worries. Okay, so no, it needed to lose 8 wounds for it to, gra to degrade. So uh, we rolling ones because of... Um, you are, yeah. So hitting on 2, is we rolling that 1? All hit, um, and now wounding on twos, all wounds. Okay, so this is when I'm gonna boss this easy with uh, with threes. Not that one. That is like the worst roll I could possibly so ask for. Um, yeah, there's, there's not nothing I can do about it because he's flat four damage. So it's eight, which is enough. So even if I re-roll that, he dies. Um, so that is called a whiff. Um, so he will die, I'm hoping he'll come back, but uh, we'll lay him down for now. And if he doesn't come back, that's looking pretty grim for and I've also got Space a, um, Marines. A rule where once I kill a unit with him, on, yeah, do you get a wound back or something? On four yeah, I can't remember how many wounds is back, but we'll check on that. Mm -hmm. I can check now for you. Um, let's have a quick look. Um, uh, on a five plus each dice, so in a five phase, roll a di roll d six equal to the number of models that were slain during the phase. For each dice roll of a five plus, the model regains a wound that is lost already. So on a five plus, you do. Yep. Like rolling when you're rolling hot, you're rolling hot. So he's five wounds now. <sighs> okay, so um, my Gilliman doesn't normally die, which is quite painful. So. Um, but anyway, before we do that, you do get to swing in first of all on both your units. So let's do that first of all. So sorcerer. Yeah. Freeze. Well, okay. Yeah. Then freeze. Yeah. Two. Two goes through. Uh, minus one. So four ups. 
thousand bucks. <laughs> so damage on a staff. That's um. D three. So oh yeah. So so roll individually. First so one. first one. For one. Yeah. So this one. doesn't matter. Cool. Okay. Man. I only forgot the six first. Okay. If only, if only. Like you need the luck at the moment. Right, uh, and then the interceptors, so horrors into them. So do you want to pile in, see how many you can get in? Yep. Okay, so now Two, the horrors four, six, are going to seven, attack into the interceptors. Eight, they are nine, splitting their attacks. Some of them are going to go into the lieutenant. Um, so we'll see how Darren gets on. <clears throat> Wish him luck. He's going to try and take these guys so down. Right onto these first. So this is onto the interceptors, is it? Yep. Okay, so fours. So very, very nice rolling as as has continued in this game. Uh, now new fives. Uh, so that brings it back down. So what? Two. Two. Still decent. Okay. So needing threes. Here we go. Make both of those. Yep. So it's two, four, five. Five onto. Onto my lieutenant. Six, seven, eight, yeah. Is this onto the lieutenant or is it's this onto the lieutenant? Onto the lieutenant. Okay, cool. Well, Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so needing fours. Okay. So needing fours, one. Uh, one. Okay, three up. Yeah, makes it. Okay, fair enough. Um, and I think that's it. So. What you can do um, the, so the three inch piling with that one. Because Gilliman wouldn't be there, would he? So I get to move. Um, I'm not so. What does it say? First time Gilliman is reduced to, to zero runes, roll d6, um, and set him up again at the end of the phase as close as possible to a previous position, but more than one inch away from an enemy um, with a, with d6 removed. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. So you can move him. Will you move him best? What do you want to do? So I'm going to move him three inches closer. Okay. To that. Okay, fine, no worries. <clears throat> Fair enough. Okay, so brutal, brutal stuff. Darren rolling like a boss. So let's see whether Gilliman can get up again. Uh, if he doesn't, this is going to be a short game. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Gilly. No. <laughs> come on, point. Well, come on. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't see this game lasting very much longer. Gilliman is out. That is Warlord. But let's see what we can do. We're not going to give up, but we will see. This is looking quite grim for the Emperor's hands. Let's go and see what happens to turn three. Okay, so start of the next battle round, we're going to move these. So this is be turn three. At the moment, it is a it's a draw. So we've both got one point each, um, but um, I've also got first first strike, and Darren has slay the warlord. Okay, so we're going to start off with down here, um, yep. the closest one to me, which where I'm sitting on. Um, okay, so I will move that nowhere. It's going to stay where it is under me. Um, we'll go over there. Uh, I get a two. What do you get? A five. Five, so you move it where you like. But you're definitely going to be holding that. So I'm going to put that to... I'm going to move that literally... Okay. Nice one. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then we'll move over to the one where the Leviathan is at. To four. Uh, I get three. So you can move it. Uh, you like. I'm going to go three inches to that. Fair enough. And then the one where the rubrics are at. One. I get a five. So we'll move it away, but it is still going to be held by the rubrics because he is standing on top of it. So we'll put it there. Okay, so we'll go into the start of the uh, Thousand Suns turn, but bear in mind that Darren is going to score one. He's going to score two. He's going score to score three. three, so that's a good score. So that will put him up to five to two, and there really isn't much of this army left. But we're going to hang on in there, that's what Space Marines do. We would not give up, we show no fear, and we will fight this foe until we have nothing left. Let's go into turn three for the chaos. Okay, so one thing we did forget to do was we did need to do the horrors morale. Um, so they lost seven, so this will be d6, of course. <laughs> 
and uh, Darren's day is here, ladies and gentlemen. It's worse Ben than the uh, points uh, for the. Uh, he's, he is. It's his day in the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to take his dice away from him. <laughs> um, so yeah, so all is well. But that means more than that, Darren. It means roll a d6 and see how many you get back. You get four back. <laughs> so I killed three. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. So good. So good. Life's good, right? Life's well good. And like any true chaos champion and worshipper of the Dark Lords, Darren is going in for the kill. He's not holding back. What have you done in your movement phase? So Leviathan has just moved himself eight inches towards the closest enemy. Yeah. Um, he's got his eyes set on that. The blood first is pretty much an inch away from the yep. guys up there. Yeah. Uh, over here, now we've got the reimbursement of the extra four uh, pink yep. horrors. So we just kind of box it to put more four attacks into your captain. Yeah. Um, he can't do nothing, so he's going to stay there. Uh, over here, they're going to stay put. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I should have done really was to move Araman. So for before it. I do anything, go for it. Araman is going to pop himself down to there. Okay. Um, yeah, because that still means that's the closest. Um, sure. That's it. Okay, nice one. So, psychic phase, what are you going for? Uh, so, first of all, we're going to go smite with these boys first of all. Yep, go for it. Two, no. No, uh, blue horrors, uh, probably one. Who was that? Was that with your. Um, the pink horrors. Pink horrors. Yeah. Can you check to see whether you're within 18 inches of me? Oh. No, my luck, you won't be. No, you are. Okay, so you lose D, so D3 mortal wounds. <laughs> For one. one. So one more dies. Fair enough. Well, look, it's the it, it it's done something. The relic's done something. Yeah. Cool. Um, next up. Uh, so then we're gonna we're not gonna do him. Why not? Please. Uh, blue horrors are gonna. I have think I stand more chance smite. killing him that way. <laughs> yeah. Please. The blue horrors are gonna do smite. Okay, go for it. Uh, six. Okay, are they within range of me? Are they within eighteen inches of so, my guy? No, no, no. Of this guy here. Are they within eighteen oh. inches? No, I'm not gonna fail it, haven't I? I've got a what? Well, it's got to be unsuccessful. So if I can. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine, dude. You're outside of yeah. eighteen. No worries. Cool. So I can't do anything about that. So, uh, one so more just one, one more to wound. Yep, yeah, no worries. On the stalker. Yeah, I'm Go guessing for that's going to be the closest. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, um, next up. So then next up, uh, Araman is going to mm -hmm. cast uh, the plus one Imvan mm -hmm. onto the Leviathan. Yeah. Uh, two and a four. So it doesn't go off. Yep, goes off, yep. Plus one. Five, what's the plus one in You've got a four on there, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so you got six on the dice? No, I've got two and a two. Oh, no. Fast. So that doesn't go off, unfortunately. Fast. So minus one to hit. Uh, it does not go off. Okay. Smite. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yeah. Yeah, Smite does go goes off. D3. For three. For three. Ugh. Four wins done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then. Over here, mm -hmm. he's going to have a go at doing flickering flame sure. onto this squad. Okay. Four fails. Um, you I'm no going to spend. You spent your last CP, didn't you? No, I've got one left. Okay. One left. Uh, so I'm going to reroll the one. Mm -hmm. So six, seven. Yeah, that's enough. Get it off. Um, am I within range? Um, you should be within range because I, like a tit, I didn't move him. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you got seven, yeah? Yeah. See if we can deny it. Um, so if you're in from range as well, it's actually minus one. So it's actually a six. Which I think is still enough to get flickering flames off at the moment. But not anymore. So I stop it. So you do another D3 mortal wounds on you. For free, free die. Uh, that'd be on to himself. He's oh, yeah. Squad, oh, yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So he's got four wounds, he's got one wound left. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, Psycho's doing well. I don't know why I didn't move him. That was a bit silly. Well, you know, you got bloodthirsty, that's what it was. You got yeah, bloodthirsty. I didn't even need to do blood flicker and face. No, you think about it. no you didn't. Bloodthirsty, that, that was. That was silly. Okay, um, so. Um, go straight into shooting, that's all Straight into shooting, does. okay. So we're going to go pistol into yeah, there, first go of all. On. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, they can't do nothing. So yeah. over here, we're going to do last cannon shot. Yeah. Um, so the uh, yeah the blue flame. Is who's going to be the closest? <laughs> Question. So. Well, it doesn't matter. You can still choose. Um, you don't have to go for the closest. 
Well, no, because I want to. If I want. Oh, to. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. no, he's further away. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the blue flame onto yeah. the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, hits. It does. Wounds. It does wounds. Yeah, it's minus four, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so I don't get a save. Five. Five. D six. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I've now taken. Um, that's five, right? Yes. So I've taken nine wounds. Okay. Nice. Um, I will check. I think he has eleven. So, um, but we'll check. And we'll come back. Two seconds. Okay. Yes, he has eleven wounds. So he's got two wounds left. Next up. Uh, shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, whether they're in range or not. Some of them are going to be in range. You would. Oh, what well, these guys up here? Yeah. Um, you'll get some. And uh, no, so you don't. So heat. One. Uh, yeah. Okay. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And then the soul cannons not. No. And they're so three bolters. Mhm. Mm uh, two hit. Yep. Uh, two, wounds. two wounds. Minus two. Okay. I mean cover. So, one. so three up. Uh, no, be four up because it's minus two. And then minus two, so I'm up to two up. Yeah, so four up. Yeah, you're right. I make both saves. Yeah, you loved it like a true champ. Well, they're just they're, they're obviously glutton for punishments. They're not happy about just dying to bolt. They'd rather be cut right. apart by a bloodthirst or with a huge great big axe. <laughs> I, I don't know whether they're clever or not. Really, to be fair. So the flamer is going to go into your tank, and then the butcher's cannons are going to go up to them. You've already fired the flamer. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, not not the flamer, flamer, the flamer yeah, on so your uh, leviathan. Yeah. So the flamer. For five. Okay, cool. So, uh, new fives. Um, nice, gets two. Two. Minus one. Uh, so, needing fours. No, and that is enough. Uh, does he explode? A five, I don't think. No, he doesn't explode. He needs to be six. So, he goes. Okay. Nice. And then the um, butchers. Did you say the butchers are going into him as well? No, the butchers are going into the boys. Cool. Okay, no worries. So freeze because he has moved. Yeah. Um, but that is six at minus one. Okay. So just three ups. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, two, so it's two guys die. Leaving just the sergeant to... Uh, Brave it against the bloodthirster. Okay. Um, so that's everything. Okay. Uh, so it's the combat. So bloodthirster is going to. You charge. shot your pistol. Yeah, you shot your yeah, pistol. Yeah, shot the pistol. Yeah. Okay. So bloodthirster charging. Yep. I'm shooting with a grenade launcher. D6 shots for three. Uh, hit on sixes. That's one. Winning on five. Nope. Uh, uh, you don't can't. really. You can't really fail. So don't no. worry about that. Um, um, that is all the charges. There's nothing else that can um, go for it. Can do it. So bloodthirster, five attacks. Yeah, it's not bloodthirster. I know he's acting like a bloodthirster, but he's not a bloodthirster. a bloodthirster. I did, didn't I? Yeah, because yeah. he is a bloodthirster. But anyway, okay. Thankfully, he rerolls ones because he needs to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that's very dead. It's not like I can do about that. He is dead. He's a brave, brave sergeant, but he went down. Okay, um, and then you got over here. Um, so we're going to activate the um, the pink horrors first. Okay. I think that's probably going to be the best bet. So I'm going to do my um, fringe piling. Yeah. Um, so they're all locked in. Let's pull him into there. And then if I moved him to there, him to there, him to there, him to there, him, 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 let's pull him to there, him into there, and then that gives them all a chance to do something. <clears throat> okay. Grand. Okay. Okay. Fine. Right, so I've got. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll tell you ten, what, Darren, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to interrupt. Don't change what you're doing, but I'm going to interrupt because why not? You got the points. Well, I haven't anymore. I've got one left, um, but let's see if I can get one back. 
No, can't get one back. Uh, but we are going to interrupt and just see whether um, I'm going to interrupt with my captain, with my uh, lieutenant. Uh, it feels like the right thing to do. So here we go. And that makes two hits. And hits on twos. And then threes. And three rolling ones. Yeah, just just two. <laughs> Rubbish. No, nope, two more do die. Okay, that's um, two less tax. But on those two. Fine. Um, and it's over to you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, eight, ten, eleven. Cool. Um, fives. Uh, fours on him. Is this on the two lieutenant? Yeah. Okay. So that's five saves. Easy, right? One wound. It's fine. Oh, one's better than none. Um, and then one, two, three, three four, easy. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Six, eight, ten. Uh, that wasn't that great. And then flies. Uh, one wound. One wound. Three up. Yeah, it makes it on six. Yeah. The lieutenant starts with five wounds. He's got four wounds left, the lieutenant. Okay. Um, so, right, so we were already in combat, so then I get to choose one. So these guys here are going to attack you. See if I can kill this one guy. Come on. Please let me kill this one guy. If I do one thing in this damn game, let me kill this one guy. Ugh. Right, come on. <laughs> Two attacks back. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, nope. No, okay. Fair enough. Locks in that end of cycle. Uh, so then I will attack you with my interceptors. And the horrors. Oh my god, stop rolling like a chump. Uh, so two more saves for your horrors. Uh, one more. Okay. So that's three in total. And then plus the guys that already killed with your ones that failed your thing. Um, which was one. Did you just so one, four, was it? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's the end of that. So you got morale, you owe me a morale check. You ready? Oh. Well, you do pass though, which I suppose is just as annoying. I wanted the one. Well, I, I just wanted you to fail and lose some would have been nice. Okay, so um, unfortunately, it's we're at the bitter end now. There's very little I can do, but I'm going to fight on. I'm going to see if I can kill some stuff for the last turn um, as we go into turn three for the Space Marines. Okay, so going into Psychic Tech Phase Festival, so movement, more importantly, so yeah. John's only scored one point. I have just scored the one, which means I'm getting massively outscored now, but there you go, it is what it is. Um, so what I've done is, thankfully, because these guys have got jump, and just the way that Darren had kind of gone around me, was I was able to jump these out first, which then gave me room for my lieutenant then to move out of combat, because he doesn't have fly. So that's good, um, because he's an ultramarine he still will be able to shoot at minus one which is good, these guys have fly so they'll be able to shoot as normal. Um, that's kind of what we've done, my um, librarian um, is going to try and try again to see off this uh, this guy is just absolutely invincible um, and that's kind of what we'll do and uh, see if we get lucky is basically where we're at, we're at where we are at um, and then just suffer the impending doom that is a massive great big demon prince and lots of shooting and lots of smites and lots of other stuff anyway and um, that's for another day so uh, let's do the psychic phase so I'm going to start off with a smite and I am going to smite you and I'm going to use my last CP to make that a 9. Okay, so Araman is going to try to dispel it. Do not dispel it, Araman. You do 
do not discredit her. Six, seven, nope. Um, you lose your last CP, so he is dead, and I eventually kill my man. I'm going to see if I get my CP back. I do not get my CP back. I'm out of CPs. Any more psychic? Um, yes, I will now do the mind raid on the demon prince, needing a six. Double one, a nine, nine. Araman again. Yeah. Uh, so it's... No, you do not get it off. Plus one, nope. Nope. Um, so now you, he takes a mortal wound, so mm -hmm. he's already lost. How many is he down to now? So he's got got four, four left, okay. Uh, and then I need to beat your leadership on 3d6. I believe it's nine. I do not. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not going to be eight. Not on a, not on a demon prince. I'm pretty sure it's nine. We'll check it in a minute, um, but I'm almost certain. You've got to equal it or be. beat it? Um, I think you've got to beat it. So it would make a difference. Um, let me just let me double check it, guys. Okay, so I guess we're going into shooting. Yes, yeah, so we just checked it, by the way, guys. Just now, You only have to equal it, um, but um, unfortunately I rolled an eight and the uh, team Prince is nine. So it is what it is. Um, if I had a CP, it would have been nice, but then that would kind of defeat the object because the whole idea is to get a CP back. The main, th the main thing is he's lost a wound, which is good. So, right, shooting phase. So first of all, the librarian's going to whip out his last cannon that he's got hiding in his pocket. Hmm. As you do. As you do, standard, <laughs> but it's a special last cannon that's like not heavy, right? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Great, and it has like more shots and stuff as well, right? Um, I'm going to shoot at him with his pistol. Range of it? 12. Is it in range of the build? Because remember he's on top of the building. Oh, he's over here, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's over here. Yeah, no, it's not really in range. It's not really in range. Um, fair enough. Pistol them, though. Uh, we could pistol them, so let's do that. We do not hit. Not on a one, you know. We're not going. We're, no, we're just not going to do that, are we? Right? No. Um. So yeah. So these guys. So yeah. Fine. So these guys here are all going to shoot into your horrors. Um. Didn't move. Ones don't do much. Threes. Uh, lieutenant not in range. So just two. Saved. Okay. That's not very nice. Right, um, so we'll go into the intercessors and see whether we can rinse these horrors. Okay, so hitting on threes, because they got fly, so they don't have to worry about the minus. So that was a good round of shooting. Um, and now needing threes. Um, no rerolls. rolls uh, Yeah, they're re-rolls. Why'd you re-rolls? Lieutenant. No, your lieutenant's not in range anymore. Of these guys? Yeah. Not within six inches? Oh, I doubt it. But we're oh, gonna... no, he's over there. No, 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 he's not. That's fine, that's fine, that's cool. No worries. I just peeped myself there, what? That's a long, yes, it's, it's, it's one of your six inches, that one, Darren. Yeah. Um, six, that's eight, eight saves. Can you save, can you uh, fail eight, please? Like that. Eight would be real nice. Um, Quite a few of them. So five do die. Okay. Um, We'll take those and those. Sweet, okay. Um, and then... We'll leave that dude on there because that's got the uh, thingamajig. Yep. Cool. So the Lieutenant will shoot you now. Um, he's minus one, he hits on... No, he hits on threes. Normally he, he he's on combat on twos. So no, he fails. No way of re-rolling it. So that is that, I'm afraid. Um, I cannot go back into combat. Um, and that pretty much will be me, so you'll just have to take a morale check for me. Um, so... Five okay. on two... Is it, did you just five. lose five? You had not lost any others earlier? I don't think you had, had you? Okay, so going into the beginning of um, my round, so before we do anything, we've got to start moving some objectives. Yep. So we'll start off with the most important one, this one here. Okay. What did you roll? Four. Four. Three. Oh, we know where that's going, right? Yeah. So I'm taking that to bad boy. Just stick it under the... So then the next one... Over here. The one hiding underneath. It's got a one. Six. Move it that way away from me. Yep, I'm going to do that. 
Uh, no, actually, I'm going to move it the other way. I'm going to move it closer towards the... Um, Librarian. Yeah. It's fine. Well, I'm still holding it anyway at the moment. Because you're on top, was on top of it anyway. On top of it, yeah. Um, um, the one where Araman is. Yeah. Six. Four. four. We're just going to move it. There's very little I can do, to be honest with that one. Because you're going to have people there and Araman was on it, right? Yeah. So it's fine. So you're going to hold it. These guys here. Five. Yeah, you got what you wanted there. So, um, sort of there. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, actually, I'm gonna put it a little bit further over, only because I need line breaker and it doesn't really matter. But no, I'm put anything on it. Got enough for that unit there. So. Cool. cool. Um, okay. So at the beginning of my turn, mm -hmm. uh, I do score One two turn. points. Yeah. Uh, so it's putting me four ahead of you now. Uh, yeah. So last. Oh no, so this was the first one, wasn't it? So this is turn three. So yeah, you'll be... Okay, so going into turn four. Um, so it does give me the lead now on John. So I'm holding two objectives. So it does put me up to four ahead of John. Um, so let's go into movement and see what I can pull off. After a brave turn three for the Space Marines, the Thousand Suns, um, headed up by that Demon Prince and Araman, are now closing in on the remnants of this uh, very proud and stoic Emperor's Hands army. Very little left. So what do you do in your movement phase, Darren? So movement, The uh, he's just jumped himself over to here. This is the um, Flux Master. Yeah. Just be out of that 18-inch bubble. You'd thought I'd learnt the first time. It yeah. just took me a couple of turns to click on. Um, so he's put himself over there, just out yeah. of 18, so yeah. I cast off what I need to do. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we've got uh, Demon Prince has jumped down to be in close combat there. Leviathan's put himself over to yeah. have a couple of cheeky shots. Uh, Araman is just out of range of the 18 inch shenanigans for that, but mm -hmm. enough to be in smite. Those boys have advanced over to get Line Breaker. Sure. Um, and then over here, Pink Horror is set up on that objective. They're set up on that objective, so we should have that regardless. Okay. Um, so let's go into Psychic. Yep. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, Araman is going to cast off. Um, uh, he's going to cast off uh, Smite, first of all. Sure. He gets it on a seven. Seven plus one, eight. Okay, so I'll try and get rid of it. Uh, I don't. It's D3. Uh, for two. Okay, two wounds down. What's he got left? He starts with five wounds, so he's got three um, left. I'm going to have a go at doing Doom Bolt. Sure, nine needed. Six, seven. No. It's a lot harder to get off the Doom Bolt then, isn't it? It is. Hmm. It is. Uh, and they can it's... target characters if they're not within 18 inches and it does half their movement. Feel no pain on the Leviathan. <clears throat> you mean plus one in one. Plus one in one. Yep. That's it. Uh, six, seven. So, yeah, so off. off yeah. Uh, over here, we're going to do um, cast off the. Uh... I've forgotten what it's called. Flicker and Flame. Flicker and Flame, that's it. Go for it. There you yeah, go. So goes off. Goes off. No problem. Um, so we'll go shooting first of all. So go we're going to go Laz Cannon shots. Okay, so the blue flame. The blue flame's <laughs> not in range because it's 18 inches. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to do it upon him. Okay. Uh, actually, am I in range? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. So Laz Cannon shot. It's not Laz Cannon shot. <laughs> stop saying that. I know why I Laz said it's so obvious. It's not a Laz Cannon. It's a blue flame. Blue flame. It fails uh, anyway. anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, Araman is going to do nothing. Uh, those boys can't do nothing. So the isn't it D three shots? It is. Yeah. So you got one shot. So then roll again. Hit or no? I tried for you, my friend. I tried. I tried. Yeah, it is D three. Yeah. Anyway, we just didn't want to get that wrong for you guys. So, uh, but the uh, librarian bravely is just with his mind bullets. He's yeah, so surviving the warp blasts. The Leviathan is going to fire um, his shots into these boys here. Tell me his flame is out of range, right? I'm not sure. I'm pretty. Uh, tell I'm... me it's out of range. Yeah, I'd say it is. It's out of range, right? It is out of range at the moment. Oh, there we go. Oh, what I should have done is warp time. Should have done, right? Should've How many spells have I cast so far? Like, loads more. Too many. 
Should have no. done warp time. Yeah, no, you have to. Didn't think about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got warp time, so I can't do it. Yeah, you haven't got warp time, have you? No, so I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you guy's dead with warp time. So he's going to shoot his pusher cannons into these. Right, okay, go for it. Um, yeah. I didn't get presents off because I didn't cast it. Yeah. Twos. Uh, Four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Minus one. Yeah, four ups. Unfortunately. Just okay. one. Depending on where you want to take him. Two damage. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to try and get score the point, right? Yeah, so then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20 shots from the flickering frame. Yep. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, and they're going to shoot into these. Yeah. Here we go. Coming in hot. Not so hot. They're tired. They've done well. Okay. That was um, average at best. Yeah. Okay, now in the fives. Fours. Oh, this is into frame. Lieutenant, is it? No, this is the flicking frames. Still, um, oh, yeah, uh, yes, you're right. Yeah, yes, so you're right. Uh, four. Four. Okay, here we go. Like a boss. Yeah. No problem, no. Okay. Um, what you got? What you got? Is that all you got? I think that is all my shooting. Easy. That's a bit of a whiff on the right, shooting. Right, my turn then, right? Um, no. Sure? Yeah, 100%. My turn, right? The, uh, my turn, right? No, unfortunately not, mate. My, my turn. Demon Prince is going to charge into your uh -huh. librarian. I'm going to overwatch you with my mind bullets. He's going to whip out that last cannon in his pocket again. Because that lousy. Yeah, just do three last cannon shots, right? Pistol. No. Okay. Fail. That's a fail, right? Yeah, unfortunately not, mate. It's a fail, right? Uh, I've got I've I've got a special minus ten to my charge. So I'm gonna go to there. Okay. Um, you and then these boys are going to die. Die. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna charge into him. Sure. Sure. He's okay. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. And one hit. And I love the way you roll. One wound. Yeah, delicate. I'm, no. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not good at it. No, I've okay. got the skills. There you go. Okay, yeah, you're in. You're in. Eight. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, back, 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 back. Then jump around the back, Darren. Come no, on, just because you're, you're winning, don't need to be jump around the back. It's not got a little flying. It's not got a little flying board. <laughs> you get as many in his face contacts as you can, right? Yeah, yeah. Not by jumping over my model. It was. <laughs> it's not high jump. Uh, he's gonna have a go at doing that as well. Sure, so go for it. A five. Go for it. Five. Yeah, nice. Sweet. He's dead, man. Probably. Yep. Not probably about it. He's dead man. Probably. Oh, definitely. He's, he's dead either way, so... <laughs> it's true, it's true. Cool. Okay. So, you can't interrupt, so it don't make any difference. So we'll start over here, first of all. Go for it. Uh, we'll do his little attacks, first of all, which has got... Well, you want to know what Herald's got? Right, okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you what Herald's, Herald's got. No, I won't. I'm going to have to pause this. Ready? Okay, so starting off with the Herald, uh, he is going to attack him with mighty two attacks, of which he fails with both of them because he hits on threes. Of course four. he does. So then these boys will do the same. So move into the three. Oh, just pushing your dude over. You, uh, but, well, I'm just going to let you get away with it because you were already basing my model before, so you couldn't move the guy on the back around, but which it's one? fine. So the guy that you just moved that was that you jumped that you high jumped over me in the first place. <laughs> just the, the base 
that based my model. <laughs> you could do that guy there, could the, jump the, in there instead. No, no, again, he couldn't because no, he, he, he doesn't have a five inch consolidation. He has um, a ten inch of consolidation. Of course he does, but it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Six. Um, six, nine. Go for it. God, if I'm rolling like that, I need to I need to push my boundaries much more. Uh, horrors are not for fighting. Fuck. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, cool. Um, so do you want to do yours over here then, um, and just fluff against uh, my uh, my boss? Pause it for a sec. So Dean Prince coming in should be able to do short work of the librarian. Twos. All hits. Uh, twos again. Yeah, I don't have a save. It's minus four. It's lots of damage. Uh, yeah, even if one, every single one of them was one damage, uh, I do die. So uh, that wasn't very fair. It wasn't very nice. Librarian didn't even get a chance to hit you back with his big flashy sword. It's a bit mean. It's a bit mean. Anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so um, you're going to consolidate closer to me? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Um, lovely. Um, and then I'm going to take you back then, right? <clears throat> Over yeah. here. So obviously the blood first is out, so I can't. But I will take you with my main dude. It's going to hit your... Um, hmm, hmm. Have you lost any guys this turn? Your horrors? Did you lose any when you one. came in? You lost one. Okay, so... Okay. Um, no, we'll, we'll just go in against the... Um, against the Herald. I'm going to kill him. Okay. So, and I get an extra one for that. Because I've got six. Ugh. <laughs> no! yeah, you've got no re-rolls Die scum die uh, Because of Jared, Darren Janky Loose and fast movement He has blocked me in but I'll let him off I'll let him off Very very loose and fast It's, uh, it's all good Anyway right so uh, that is the end of turn um, and a good turn for Darren. So we will now go into turn four for me. Um, I am straight away going to score two more points. Uh, I got one over here. Uh, troops choice. Fly. So ah, you got fly. You have got fly. You're right. So you do hold it from me. That's not very nice. So I've got one. I get one point. I learn quickly. You do learn quickly. That, that damn damn print. He should be dead. Ugh. Anyway, right. So my turn. Let's see what we can do. Not very much. But we're gonna have a go. So, I've got to do a morale test on that, even though I've lost one, still got to do it. For a cocked. For a one. Damn cheat. Cheat. For five. Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> cheat. <laughs> if I wasn't <laughs> swam down, I am. He's going to be now. Ugh, that's alright. He's, he's tough. He'll take you all out. He's not, he's not scared. Yeah, probably. He's not scared. He's not scared. Right, okay, cool. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so we'll put them back in a bit, it doesn't really make much difference. Um, so I've moved, I've basically, he's stuck in combat. These guys here, are, they're still within range of that, they've got flies, so they hold that. Um, these guys here have just, they, they weren't in combat, so they just moved there. Uh, they're going to unload into him. I'm just going to see whether I can kill this demon prince, he's a real pain. I'm going to kill him, then I'm going to scythe through some more of those horrors. And then I'm going to dive in and I'm going to kill them with combat as well. So like... Yeah, more than likely. Simple, easy stuff. Okay, so um, let's start off with some shooting. So let's go with the um, intercessors here. Uh, they're going to shoot their bolt rifles into the Dean Prince. Uh, okay, so that's three hits. And I need fives. Uh, I get the one. It is minus one. So it's four up. Takes a wound. Takes a wound. It's like five damage. It is. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So then the other dudes over there are going to shoot in as well. So let's do that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. They generate daka daka on sixes, right? No. That's okay. it. Okay, um, and now needing fives. Uh, two. Uh, two. Is that not one over there? No, no. it's a two, unfortunately. Okay, that's a shame. So, f minus one. So, four. It is minus one. Makes them both. Nothing I can do there. Okay. Um, I, have I got like a pistol? Pistol, you should have a pistol. Um, they normally have pistols. I do pistols. have a bolt pistol. So, I'm going to throw a bolt. I'm going to shoot you with a bolt pistol. I don't hit. 
that's not very nice. Okay, and so that's the end of the shooting. So charges, um, I am going to, how many wounds he got left? Uh, he's got three left. So three left, I'm gonna charge him with these. Fair play. Um, and I'm in. And then these guys there are gonna charge into your horrors. And they get a five, so I'm guessing they're probably in as well. Cool. So, um, start off with sixes for them, mortal wounds. So one horror's dead. Yeah, so it's four to be put back there. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, you don't have enough points to, to do that, no. so we'll just... So we'll start left. Off, so we'll start off with um, the guys over the end. Um, so needing threes. Okay. <clears throat> and then needing threes. Okay, so that's four, four saves. Oh, one dies. So um, just when I need him to really die. Yep. Um, and then the uh, these guys here. So same deal again. Okay. And fives. Nothing. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, so then my first attack, which is my lieutenant. Uh, he hits with everything. I want to generate Dish an one, extra yeah. one. For your daka daka hit. For my daka daka hit. For his knives, he's a knife man. Um, a re -roll re -roll ones. One. Uh, so that's four saves. Yeah, it's a save there. So two, two more. more. Die. So out of that five, I've got one left to put back on. Nice. Insult for injury. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so uh, blood thirster. Blood so thirster, demon prince, even. Twos. Re roll Rolling the ones. ones. Oh, that's a shame. That'd be a shocker if I missed that. Wouldn't it just? Yeah, they did. Twos, they did. yeah. They did. Um, okay, and then you've got over there your horrors. So two, four, six, eight. Sorry, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 hits. Now if I roll all right. You still stand no chance to do any damage. Yeah. <laughs> so going into your captain. Lieutenant, yeah. Lieutenant. Um, Strong. Just got to maintain this. You have. Yeah. Uh, one. Because I need fives now because the um, dude's gone. Oh yeah, you've done it. No problem. You've done it. Yeah. Yeah, without the... Um, uh, yeah, so you still lost morale because um, even though they came back, you still lost four. So can you kill me some people? Uh, six, six, nope. not enough, not enough, not enough. Um, and at this point, ladies and gentlemen, um, the remaining soldiers of this once proud force are going to evac from this planet because they are about to be bullied by some very big guys and they have nowhere to run. Um, so this time it is a Darren victory and we'll come back with a and we're back and it's a rare occasion we're beaten by Darren again. <laughs> what do you mean a rare occasion? <laughs> well, I've done that, it a couple of times You now. have, you have, a whole couple of times. No, I think I've done it more than that. You've been counting? Yeah. Yeah. I can still do it on one hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I hope you really enjoyed the game. Uh, we had a lot of fun playing it. Um, it was, it was great to see just kind of see the Marines kind of really come up against a tough foe in the Thousand Suns. Yes. Um, you were in my face real early um, and even Papa G didn't have the clout to be able to get you out of it. You didn't need first turn, that's the problem. I know you yeah. didn't want first turn, but if you'd have had first turn with Papa G's re-rolling shenanigans... Yeah, I would, that, have, I would have done damage, wouldn't I? Yeah, the repulsor yeah. would have just destroyed quite a lot of stuff before I could have done anything. Yeah, um, I, th I think so. But, you know, look, it was it was super fun. I really, really right. enjoyed it. Yeah, and look, your dice were hot, and they deserve to be hot, because your dice have been pretty stinky on a lot of our battle reports, to yeah. say the least. It's the new dice, the new hotness is coming through. The new the moment, hotness, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All those sixes that are generated off the dice, so I'm loving it right now. And so. if you want to get your twisted dice dice... Uh, at the moment, um, a lot of them are very, very exclusive. 
but you, they will be available for our Patreon supporters. So if you want to see that hotness that is uh, is our dice, then uh, get on board that, and there is a link down below. Plus they look super um, cool on the, on the table. They do look super cool. They, those, those green ones look great. I'm not sure whether we'll get any of the green ones. They are limited edition, but we will try our best, and if you become a Patreon, we'll try even harder, right? That's <laughs> it, that's it. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Um, really appreciate you hanging around here till the end. Um, and, and watching our crazy battle reports. And if you did like this battle report, there were loads more for you to check out. So check out Don't some of our past. Hit the like and subscribe. Hit the like, really hit the subscribe, um, and come and join us for another battle report soon. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Guys, thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.